Well, good weekend chat. Guess what? I've got some fantastic news for us all. I think it's something we can all be super fucking excited for. Guess who's back? David's back! Oh, Davina, I've missed you so much. You disappeared on us. I didn't know where you went, baby, but now you're back. You're back to stay. We've we've got a, a little show programmed around. David needs our help. He needs our help. We've got we've to gotta do something. We need to step forward to, to help him snag some pussy. Because David's in a tough spot right now. But because our boy is back, you know what that means. Can It can only mean one thing. We have A-U-T. It's a special time in a special boy's life. Oh, David. I don't know. What, he just disappeared for a while. I think Mommy might have thrown him out of the house. There was a threat. If he didn't keep his room clean, he was going to have to go. And I think he did go because he went backpacking across the world. He pulled a Tilly Law, decided to hit the road and explore. See what's out there. See what kind of ladies he can lure in. <laughs> and you know the person to best give advice on how to snag some hot bitches. It's Monday, Matt. It was fun hanging out and exploring. We got to do it again before you leave. That leaves it a little bit open and vague. Uh, you could interpret that a few ways. I mean, what does he mean by hanging out and exploring? Exploring what? What sort of things were Matt and uh, Davina exploring together? I, I have my speculation. Now, I'm not saying that a post-op Davina visited Monday, Matt, at the quarry. And they smashed some boulders together and got hot and sweaty. Dirty, dirty boulder smashing taking place at the quarry. I'm not saying that's what happened, but when I hear, I loved exploring with you, that's, uh, you know, that's maybe the first thing that pops into my mind. I mean, they are a cute couple, don't get me wrong. I could see these two together for, for a long, long time. I see people in chat saying they like that intro. You can thank Odeker for it. He super chatted me last time and finally got around to watching it and it was pretty great. I can't audio edit like that. I don't have that skill and ability, so I let him do it. Oh, do we have a Minecraft donation? What is this? From Cody Rush. So, Jim, I found out It's a Gundam is a fan of yours. Also, it was because he made a video shit-talking Monday, Matt, that I looked into TRR and found you. You're the best man. Keep it up. Be sure to check out my Minecraft LPs on my YouTube channel, Mr. Minecraft. It's where I take the biggest donations. It's where, that's where we go to do it. So little Davina came back. And uh, he blessed us with his presence. Now, he's a ladies' man. I don't know about you, but those MGTOW boys, those incels, they know how to woo a lady. And David wasted no time. Wasted no time coming back. And, you know, I guess his experience with Matt maybe confirmed to him that he really did like the ladies. And so that lifestyle was set aside. And he decided to explore explore a future relationship with somebody else, but things didn't turn out so well. Oh, Davina. That's so tragic and sad. Now, what, what do you wager, little David here? What do you wager our little David did? The moment that he met a girl that could tolerate talking to him. I don't know if you're f familiar with the shit rat cycle. Meet a girl, freak the girl out, make sure the girl never talks to you again. It doesn't really matter politics or ethnicity. None of that really matters. It's pretty much an all-female thing. But poor little David. Well, he ran into some problems. And, you know, I'm here to help. I think Chad is here to help. We all want to help David score some putang, Right? I mean, our boy is desperate for it. So you can imagine my shock when, when out of the blue this popped up on Twitter. I'm posting this statement about David Shuret on behalf of B Beer Reincarnate. Uh-oh. Why would somebody need to have a message posted for them? What could that possibly mean? Well, we're going to have to take a look. We're going to have to read and find out. Let me just pull this statement up in full, and we can find out what happened with David's love quest. Surely she must have been wooed. They're probably getting married. That would be my guess. I'm having someone else post my statement, because I really don't need a bunch of people spamming my mentions. I'm already pissed and hurt, but I feel the need to say something. 
while back, David was planning on coming to America and stopping by to visit. Great. Totally cool with that. We've been friends, and it's good to hear he's traveling. Later on, a few friends of his told me rather aggressively that he had feelings for me. I like the emphasis on aggressive. How do you aggressively tell somebody something? He's going to fuck you, and you're going to like it. <laughs> something he didn't reveal. I ended up talking it out with David. It turned out he was pretty much coming to the States to woo me. I told him the distance factor would make dating impossible as gently as possible, and he was cool with it, saying he would also go to other parts of America he wanted to visit. I also told him I would be very busy that week with helping out various family members during a time of distress, <laughs> something that abruptly came up. One of my family members ended up getting sick the day after I met David, and I told him I'd be unable to meet him because of it. The nice guy mask came off to reveal entitlement, claiming I was lying, making excuses, not putting in any effort for him. I have a sick, disabled, dying family member to tend to, while I also have to work and do household chores and yard work for various family members. He backpedaled when I called him on it. He DM'd what essentially was a self-invitation to a family member's home. Strange for obvious reasons. He then went on to talk about how he intended to kiss me, despite me making it very clear that a relationship could not happen. Him feeling he was more entitled to my time than my dying great-grandma. The fact he had intentions in the past secret, and he intended to kiss me, despite telling me he was fine with just being friends, led me to believe that I could have ended up in a very uncomfortable situation. I have since blocked him, but I worry about how he might retaliate he knows sensitive information about people I have feelings for and have worked with on combating the alt-right. After two years of friendship, I expected better. I was played for a fool by a nice guy. I initially was going to keep this quiet, but after hearing that I'm not the only girl this has happened to, I feel the need to speak out. I initially had a great time with David when I met him, and I will not backtrack on that, but his true colors eventually shine through and left me pissed and broken-hearted over a lost friendship. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you guys remember the last stream we did with David and how you might be a little aggressive. The whole story about the uh, high school friend that was a lesbian <laughs> that he knew for like a decade. He knew a gay girl. He knew a lesbian. And he tried to, he basically tried the same thing on her secretly had feelings for and just waiting for that opportunity he was gonna he was gonna make the gay go away using his cock of course the lesbian friend told him hey idiot i don't, i like girls what are you doing and david was sh sh he was shitter shattered after that heartbreaking moment and once again here we go plans a trip to america all under the deception that he was coming here to just travel when he really wanted to woo a girl who's taking care of dying family members Oh, well, it would be unfair of me, I think, if I didn't let David respond. I mean, clearly he can clear this all up for us, can he? Posted on behalf of Discord Spies, that's David, by the way. Not taking sides, just passing on the message. Well, let's see what, uh, <laughs> let's see what his message is. Let's, uh, let's hear his side of the story. Oh, 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 where, where are we? Where are we here? Oh, we should be in here somewhere. Uh-oh. Oh, there we are. Hey, it's David here. I didn't want to start shit with karma, so I'll keep this brief. My account got locked, so a friend is posting this. Karma and I had a great time. She told me she wanted to meet me the next night and even tweeted she'd date me if I lived here. Next morning, she told me to delete our selfie, and we couldn't meet for the rest of the entire week. I said it sounded like she was avoiding me because we had a better time than expected. And maybe it freaked her out. That is some smooth, or that, that's some high-level thinking right there. That's uh, Chad logic. Wow, this girl that I met is uh, trying to avoid me, doesn't want any contact, told me to delete pictures of us together, and then has been ignoring me. Clearly, she wants my dick badly. The only reason that she's, <laughs> the only reason she's blocking me and requesting I never contact her again is because she's afraid of how much she loves me. That's some great detective work there, Davina. She got mad. Told me I wasn't entitled to her time, and she had good reasons. 
I apologized and didn't want to make her feel guilty. So plan B. Went and found something else to do. Had a great time with Jeff and Mems. Still a little drunk. I don't know why she's putting this on the internet. I don't want to hurt her. Everyone just leave her alone. Going back to my hotel tonight and then I'll be flying home. I enjoyed the rest of my holiday with the holidays. They're great people, so in a way, it worked out better. Had fun in America. I'll definitely come here again. Yes, I have a plan. I have a feeling he's planning on coming back once that restraining order falls out of effect. <laughs> when she forgets to update it, he's coming on back over. It's a uh, woo her too electric boogaloo. David's coming for a date. Oh, but that's you know it doesn't even end there. I mean, she decided to release. This is amazing. She decided to release some DMs just to kind of show what the conversation was like between her and uh, between her and David. <laughs> just so people understood what was going on. I'll just read you some from left to right here if you're following along. Uh, no, I'm glad to have met you. Things on my end just got uh, hectic. And you're not going to even leave the house for the rest of the week? My mom's sick. My great-grandmother is dying. Needs help with cleaning and yard work. So we're already going to end up behind. I have to work. I need to watch my brother when my, uh, he gets home. I tried telling you that I was going to be insanely busy this week on Discord. We had to cancel the carpet change a while back because we had too much yard work and we were too far behind. Do I need to prove to you that my mom is sick or something? No. I just thought you might make a little more effort. <laughs> oh, this guy is amazing. Hey, bitch. Listen here, slut. Okay, I don't care if grandma's dying and your mom is sick. You need to put in some fucking work in this relationship. <laughs> I thought you would put in more effort. Wow, he's smooth. Fucking regular Casanova over here. I was able to make time Monday night after basically insisting on it. I warned you about how busy I'd be a couple of weeks ago. You told me you'd do other things in America, so I wasn't expecting you to stick around the PNW the entire time. I had a good time, really. But if you're still trying to pursue me, it was never going to work. The distance is too great. I kind of just wanted to kiss you. Just once. <laughs> David, what are you doing? Apparently being told this can never happen over and over doesn't register in your brain. <laughs> you need to put in more effort, you fucking whore. <laughs> David, why? Why would you... F oh, oh, listen. Listen here, lady. All right, you don't know who you're fucking with. I just wanted a kiss. All right, so I'm going to go dig a grave for your great-grandma. <laughs> I'm going to dig one next to it for your sick mother. Then we're going on a date. You listen here, sweetheart. David wants some pussy. David's going to get what David wants. I came to this fucking country from across the ocean. You're going to tell me no? I just want to smooch. Just a kiss of roo Just one peck on the cheek. How many people are going to have to die for that to happen, honey? It's a question you're going to need to ask yourself. Just, just one kiss, baby. Just one kiss. Come on. Don't be like that. We can make it work. Once your family's dead, we'll have all the time in the world. I can make that happen. Have my friends not told you aggressively enough that I want to fuck you? <laughs> it's a repeat of the lesbian story. It's the exact same thing. David, David finds a woman that has no interest in him. <laughs> like, I just... I, his pickup game's amazing. Hey... Fuck your dying family members. My dick needs to get wet. It's uh, it's right up there with a the Lauren Southern wooing attempt. Good morning, Lauren. I've just raped you. Yeah! I can David. <laughs> what are you doing? It I swear to god this reminds me of something that's up on uh that's up on our nice guys. Just just compare and contrast David's reaction to her talking about a dying family member to this and see if there are any similarities that fucking strike you. Hey, call me if you need anything. Please, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Anything at all, even if you just want to talk to. Please, just know that all the BS that we've been through, I will never love the way I loved you. Really not in the mood for this. Okay, sorry for being in love with you. Glad you look at me as such a piece of shit when you were in my life. Don't worry, we'll never be, I'll never text you again. Fucking stop or I'm blocking you. 
My boyfriend just died, don't you get that? Bye. Maybe if I was fucking dead, maybe you would care. Driving home, hope I die and you miss me as much. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> David's picking up some, uh, some game tips from the nice guys. I love it. I just, I just want one kiss. Just one smooch, bitch. Just one, one kiss a -roo. What are you doing? <laughs> what a fucking spaz! Oh, this guy. This guy is amazing. Okay. David. <laughs> oh, David, David, David. I, you know, I feel bad for him. Listen, our boy needs some needs some advice. He needs some pointers on how to get some, some ladies, you know? How to woo the women. I don't think it's working out. You know, threats of aggression and telling him to put in more work when people are dying just isn't, just isn't winning him over like it used to. You know, back in the the halcyon days of high school. <laughs> David needs to up his game. Luckily, luckily for us, somebody made a documentary just for him. It's a, it's an exceptional piece of art I think is going to help him. Uh, help him really, really secure that pussy, if you know what I mean. Now, I think you're going to like the name of it. It's, it kind of gives away a little bit. Uh, but I thought we could watch it and then compile a list of tips that are going to help David score some, uh, some nice ladies. <laughs> uh, the documentary's name is Shy Boys. Amazing, isn't it? And uh, I, you know, we're gonna we're gonna take a look. I need we need to understand, right? We need to we need to be serious. Take a close look at what it's like to be Davina, so we can help him kind of puzzle out where the problem is. What's what's not working for him at the moment? And I think I think watching this documentary is gonna help us do that. <laughs> so that's my plan. Oh, God. This guy is just amazing. How do you do it, David? How do you repeatedly do the same fucking mistake over and over again? It's like he never learns. Did you not Did you not ever play Far Cry, what is it, 4? <laughs> the definition of insanity bit? He's just doing it over and over again. Maybe, maybe take some time, be a little introspective. Figure out that uh, maybe your game is shit, bro, and <laughs> it's not working out for you so well. <laughs> she <laughs> fucking family's dying and you're chastising her come on bitch <laughs> you know you want it what the fuck's your problem lady <laughs> David oh you're dumb oh, oh we've got to uh, I'll read a few super chats but we're going to jump into this documentary uh, from Alien spoiler alert Thanos says the n-word before hanging Black Panther from a tree after he comes back in Endgame a bold move by the Russo brothers but it really helps to flesh out his character and motivations. Well, <laughs> I guess I don't need to see the movie now. It's been spoiled for me. Thanks for ruining that for, <laughs> ruining that for me, bro. All right, let's get this documentary. Let's, you know, let's find out what it's like to be a shy, <laughs> a shy boy. I love the title. Oh, it's just insulting right off the start. That's perfect. I could have called it Forever Alones, Virgins with Rage. The incel agenda. They could have called it anything, but they called it Shy Boys. Perfect. Just perfect. Now, I haven't actually watched this. I saw a few clips from it. Somebody recommended it. And uh, I think it I think it fits perfectly with Davina. So, we're going to watch this. And we're going to try to understand his life better. So, uh, here we go, chat. Let me get this set up. That would be the wrong thing, wouldn't it? That didn't work out right. Let's try that again. Oh, well, that's super chat. That's a, that's a chat. That's not what I want, though. There we go. For some reason, it's uh, it's gonna do that. All right. Now I can't read chat, but okay. <laughs> I'll f fucking figure something out, I suppose. Uh, let's uh, let's jump right into it, guys. Let's uh, let's take a look at our shy boys. I think it's gonna happen eventually, and I'm just frustrated that it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, I've never kissed a girl, I haven't gotten anything. Losing it at 17, and then going like 10 years before doing it again, I think that's pretty, uh, that's not normal. I didn't know what the term incel meant until I was 20 or 21, but I knew the concept. I mean, you're a guy, you can't get a girl. It's pretty simple. 
All right, first thing, we need to recommend this website to David. Loveshy.com. I think that could be really helpful in his current predicament. Maybe not like the guy at the beginning of the video where he's literally crawling off a ledge in desperation. <laughs> Fuck it, I give up. I haven't seen a girl naked. I just can't take it anymore. I'm checking out. I'm going over the edge. You can't stop me. But I think maybe having a support network would help, Dave. <laughs> so let's let's see what uh, what life is like dealing with love shyness. Like I scammed you into filming me. Like, why would anyone want to film my life? It's so boring. I like to drive around or walk around and just take pictures of like just anything. You know, it's always a good sign. Always off to a good start when you find out the guy that's having women issues, can't find a girlfriend, frustrated about uh, lack of sexual content, just likes to drive around and find open areas of vast wilderness. I just take photographs of it. Not saying he's scouting out grave sites. Not saying that he's going out at midnight with a shovel. Thinking about all the places those bitches are going to get buried. <laughs> They're going to know my vengeance. When the love shies flutter up. Oh, there's going to be hell to pay. Our little wings will beat with the fury of a thousand fucking tsunamis. One thing I'm not a fan of is just going out and meeting new people. I kind of despise that. I don't know about how the term love shy is a good is a great term or anything, but it does describe a specific problem that I think there isn't any other term for. He usually doesn't see very many people coming through here. I don't like see these people, other love shy males in my real life that often. And even if I did, I mean, even if I could relate to their situation, it would be like, then what? What do you have to offer? Advanced. <laughs> this, is incel, this is the advanced incel. Now I'm getting a bit of a David vibe. They've got that same kind of look, like they're just on the cusp of starting HRT. <laughs> they're, right, they're right at the threshold of just giving in completely and being like, if I can't date the woman... I will become the woman. Let's find out if he's got a similar situation to our boy. As of now, nothing. I don't have a job. I am ugly. So my value right now is zero. All right, David, if you're listening right now, if you're watching the stream, pay attention because this guy's in the exact same situation you are. He's ugly and unemployed. All right, birds of a feather, my, my brother. Now you need to pay close attention. If his mother throws him out of the house, it's like you two are fucking twins lost at birth, separated. Separated through the eternity. You didn't even know you had a brother out there. <laughs> are you getting that vibe, David? Let's find out. Have you approached many women? Oh, many. And what was the result? Rejection 100% of the time. I would start talking to a girl, and immediately she would give me fuck off signals. She would, you know, pull out her cell phone. Just start texting her friends and just hope I would go away. Uh, I don't approach that much anymore because, you know, I've had over 1,000 rejections in real life, 2,000 rejections online, so that's 3,000 rejections total. Wow. <laughs> Do you think God's telling him something? God, if you're sitting in a situation where 3,000 people have rejected your advances, I think maybe it's time to start thinking about how you're approaching people. <laughs> what do you think his pickup line is? I bet you, I bet you he just walks up to a chick just on, you know, random. Doesn't matter where it is. In a park, at a club, at the church. A nice little restaurant. But he just walks up to him Because he's watched all those pickup artist videos. So he, he has in his mind the best approach. Walks up to him, pulls his cock out, flops it on the table. And says, it's dinner time. It's dinner time, bitch! And just waves it in their face. Apparently, that doesn't win them over very well. well. At least not if you're packing what he is. Sad. Very sad. How do you, did you count in real life? I'm approximating. Uh, that's not a real word. We're redoing that. <laughs> Ask a question again. I aim as low as possible. 
I aim for obese women, ugly women, ideally ugly and obese, you know, I aim for- I will fuck a methed out crack whore with no limbs. Alright, you need to understand the situation that I'm living. If there is a senile 80 year old that craps in a diaper and has no caretaker, I will fuck that. <laughs> I will fuck anything. Find me a morbidly obese woman that weighs 900 pounds, whose ass is so fat I need to slap her thigh, her thigh and ride the wave of lard up to her face. I'll hit that. There's nothing that is too ugly, too fat, too disabled, and too too STD ridden for me to want to put my pecker in. For the bottom of the barrel, because you know I I realize that I'm ugly. Pretty boys get women, like your sound guy. And just just you know, turn it to him. He's like, yeah. turn it to him. <laughs> see, he gets women because see, I I knew the moment I looked at him that he's not in. So I'm jealous. <laughs> Fuck, I'm uncomfortable just watching this. I've never I've never had another dude point at me and go, That's a pretty boy. Hey pretty boy, how are the women treating you? You're such a pretty boy. <laughs> I'm starting to get vibes that maybe maybe this is the same mindset Davina has. You know, maybe that's where the exploration with Matt came from. Maybe maybe D David found a pretty boy. I mean he is look at that look at that face, that's kissable. Oh, those jowls. Those jowls and that goiter. <laughs> it's, it's a very pretty boy. I can understand. I think I know what's going on now. All right, this is Genericon. It is, in fact, a generic convention. It's the only time during the year when I can totally geek out and nobody notices. Have I even heard of love shines before this? Actually, I haven't. To be perfectly honest, I had no idea. When I was in high school, I wasn't... Excuse me, madam, you must be confused. I'm not a love shy, I'm dressed like Paul Revere, so clearly, I'm neck deep in pussy right now. My friend, on the other hand, <laughs> he's never seen a vagina. At least not since his birth. I'm the most popular guy until the end of the years, and at that point, no girls really were interested in me. In college, I spent two years in a two-year school where nobody really hung out, and by the time I went to the four-year school, everybody had hooked up. And then the job came. I started the same day as a girl that I really wasn't interested in. Three months in. I get the feeling his friend is laughing at his misery. I'm going to back that up just a little bit. Four years school, everybody hooked up. School, I wasn't the most popular. Just, just watch the smile on his face as his friend talks about the despair of being a, a virgin with rage. Did I not go far back enough? I might not have gone far back enough. He gets this very smug look. There we go. There it is. <laughs> He's loving it. Three months in, I started to get interested in her, and she was interested in me. Except when I got interested in her, she stopped being interested in me. And because of this whole lack of experience in naivete, I spent the next year and a half pining for her, unknowingly. And then after that, I just kind of went with the flow, and whatever happened, happened. So. Oh, we're getting into the forum now. <laughs> uh... It's a place to vent. I mean, it's just a place to socialize with other. Oh, I've got to read this for us. What is love shyness? And are you love shy? What is involuntary celibacy? Incel. And are you an incel? Short answer, it's datelessness. It's romantic inexperience and extreme difficulty forming romantic relationships. If you want to cut to the chase and discuss your problems, head over to loveshy.com forum. If you have further questions, we are visiting this, by the way. After this fucking video is done, we're going to go read some uh, conversations between the Love Shy folk. See if we can get some dating tips for uh, David. <laughs> I think it'll be very helpful. Other incels who suffer from the same problem I do. It's a place where, you know, people go put things that are like completely hidden from most other places. There's a lot of negative emotion. <laughs> what the fuck did that say? Croatian government must find me a girlfriend. Oh, this goes back to 2010. There's a lot of negative emotions that you can see there. There's a lot of depression. They are murder. <laughs> they are murderers. My government still has not found me a girlfriend. Motherfuckers. I pay taxes. I deserve pussy. And a lot of anger. A lot of hopelessness. Holy shit, how much you want to bet Elliot read this forum? 
How much do you want to bet there are quite a few of them that read this? Anyone to feel like they might just snap one day? Painless methods of suicide? I think the general consensus, though, is that... <laughs> God, kill me now! Holy shit! Oh! We ha I hope this still exists. Oh my god, I hope this fucking site still exists. I hope there's a fucking archive of it. The posters who are more controversial don't really fall under the love shy umbrella. Like, they would fall under something called incel. The two terms aren't synonymous. Occasionally you can have a guy that isn't ugly and might not be able to get girls because, you know, he just never approaches. They almost, like, they're the opposite of love shy, where it's like, they approach all kinds of women and always get rejected. There are just so many different personalities on there, and a lot of the times our personalities collide. That's why there's so many flame wars, but <laughs> it's all in good humor most of the time. For a supposed support forum, it tends to sometimes have the opposite effect more than it probably should, I think. Wow, Huda. Who would have thunk putting a bunch of angry virgins together in one centralized area would lead to conflict? <laughs> just, I'm pretty sure, like, have they done psychological experiments with animals that led to this conclusion? Hey, let's take, let's take all those virgins with rage and just stick them in a room together. Just for, like, I don't know, a week. And we'll play porn on a loop on the walls. <laughs> we'll overlay the text, you are a loser. So it just flashes in neon colors. They can't ignore it. It's on every wall and the ceiling. And we'll just watch and see what happens. This is fucking amazing. The forum is home to a third group of men who call themselves pickup artists, uh, PUAs. They often recruit the love shies. This, this sounds like a magical fucking land of opportunity. I mean, even if we can't find pro tips for David... It's just the, just the idea of incels, love shies, and pickup artists all inhabiting one centralized website together. Sounds like it would have been the most amazing thing. Bathroom. Didn't know what to do. Just do this. PUA is using certain body languages, certain uh, dress uh, fashion senses, and certain words to basically uh, seduce a, a, a woman. How long have you been training as a PUA? Couple months now. Do you want to explain any terminology they have? All right, well, when two, um, when two pickup artists go out into the field looking for women, the term- Term we like to use for that situation is a gay date. <laughs> when two pickup artists go out together looking for women, they don't find any, call that a gay date. It's a secret pickup artist term you might not have heard. You can easily spot a pickup artist and his friend out at the bar with his wingman chilling about. You'll know it's them because they're kissing. They're kissing on that gay date. It's a little, uh, a little term for y'all. Terminology used is sarging. You know, if guys are into it just because they want to improve themselves or whatever, and they're using this as their like motivation or whatever, I think that's fine. But it's when you get all obsessed with it that I think it gets ridiculous. Every day is a Sarge for me. The way I see it, you gotta be yourself on dates because that's who's gonna end up with anyways. So, picking up artists, it's all a scam. But how are you gonna know what you want if you don't know who you are? Yeah, fucking listen to Paul Revere. That guy's just... I saw this dude fucking ten bitches at the last convention I went to. They love that hat. Get yourself a triangular hat and dress like you're from the olden times. <laughs> carry around... Carry around a, a fucking sheepskin water bottle and just a musket women love muskets nothing gets a pussy wetter than the smell of black powder i don't know if you're familiar with this but it's scientifically proven that if you shoot a musket ball past a woman's head her pants and panties will drop and hit the floor with a thud i would say that pua is analogous to Get Rich Quick Schemes. You see, with Get Rich Quick Schemes, they promise you the moon and the sun. They promise that you can... Take it slower, you know? No, I gotta talk fast. You gotta talk fast? Yes, I have to come off as intelligent as possible. It, this is... <laughs> oh, dude! No, you don't understand, lady. Roll the film again. I need to be smart. All the ladies are watching this, and I need to put my best foot forward. You know, never mind the fact that I just told any potential girlfriend that I've been rejected 3,000 times. <laughs> 3,000 women have said no. 
but we need to reshoot this segment to make sure that they get the best impression of who I am. This is an ego thing with me. But people, people can talk slowly and still be intelligent. No. I believe that a military-style PUA camp should be in, it should be uh, created for these guys that you term as uh, you've used, used the term incels or involuntary celibates. So my plan for PUA. Holy shit! Illustration provided by Urban White Trash. He makes his own PUA comic book. <laughs> is this is this his uh, Mary Sue insert? This is how he imagined himself without the sunglasses on. He suddenly turns blonde. Listen here. Women, women like it when you transform. When you go Super Saiyan, that gets him real wet. All right. <laughs> when I'm on a gay date and I want to impress a lady, I go Super Saiyan. And my Aryan blood, my Saiyan blood attracts them to me. You see that foot in the air? She's loving it. That's that's a Chad grin right there. That's, that's, how, you, that's how you know he's, he's tapping it. May camp would be similar to how they do initiation night at the Citadel. I would have all the uh, incels and love shies all basically huddled in like cattle. I want to read this comic so fucking bad. We're going to find this comic after this fucking video. Into a room. Like these guys would be like standing together like cattle in a cattle pen. And these guys who. <laughs> you know what else I love? I think this video, I don't know when it was released, but the forum has existed since like 2010. And uh, did you notice? Did you notice? This is not like a recent trend. Everybody talking about soy boy faces. Look at this. Like these guys would be like standing together. <laughs> it's perfect. They all have the fucking Nintendo face going on. They all, they're all doing it. This is, this is nearly a decade ago and it existed like then. And a cow pen. Oh my god, Lambo's coming out next week. And these guys who I'm going to call the drill sergeants would be in there confiscating all their World of Warcraft shit all their Dungeons and Dragons shit, and they'd put it in a big fucking bonfire and burn it. Then, I'd have these pictures of just these beautiful- Look at that slut! Chat, do you want a woman like, look at this lady? That is some primo ass right there. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's, she's suffered a few accidents, I guess. Now, if you look at this hand, there is no, there's no wrist. It just goes from arm to hand. <laughs> there's no there's no transition. And I don't know if there's that armpit hair. There's a woman with a broken left arm and fucking hair coming out. And I think she's permanently stuck in this position. Must have been a tragic car accident. Terrible. Terrible. But she's ready. Mouth is open, ready to receive the gift. Cool. Women in the nude being fucked by these muscular hot bad boys. Alright, again, this is uh this is what this guy thinks about. <laughs> The pickup artist in training draws a comic about dudes fucking sluts, but he sure likes to talk about how muscular and chad like those dudes are. All right, I'm just I'm just saying maybe maybe David's not the only one that went on a journey of exploration with somebody. Maybe uh, maybe urban white trash maybe went down that route too. And have surround sound playing the sounds of women enjoying sex. You know, ah oh, ah, oh, fuck me, baby. <laughs> Come on! Oh, I need to clip this. Let's just go back. I, I, <laughs> that's some fucking good, uh, good acting. He should be a voice actor. I am the sounds of women. Call up Funimation. Sex, you know. Ah, oh, ah! Oh, fuck me, baby! Fuck me, baby! And I'd have neon lights flashing the words. It's all so adorable, but you can't have it. They would break these incels down. You know, just like the military. <laughs> Kiss my fucking shoes, nerd. <laughs> this is the pussy posse. We slay sluts up here. Get on your fucking knees, World of Warcraft dork. And thank us for letting you watch how to woo a woman. <laughs> you fucking soy boy, get down there. Kiss my fucking... I don't, I don't even know what kind of shoes these are. Clearly made by a handicapped man. Two blue stripes, one blue stripe. Somebody's not keeping up quality control. Break down an incel, build up a PUA. You know, that's what we gotta do. I believe there's four types of males in this world alphas, betas, gammas, and omegas. Now, omega males are the lowest kind of males um, there are. Omegas are what I would call genetic garbage. 
<laughs> this dude talks an awful lot of shit for a pickup artist in training. Not even a pickup artist. Just in training. Still going on those gay dates. Drawing, drawing comic books of uh, Chad slaying pussy. You play well, the Omega, which no, is the little no, brother, no, basically. No, 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 no. Not the little brother. The Legidian. Well, that's what I aim for. The, is the, the guy everybody makes fun of is the Joker. That, the Joker of the group, if you will. Can you explain Omega? <laughs> um, do you understand the Greek alphabet? Yes. Okay. Omega is the last. I tried to explain to him. Uh, he's in the it's... <laughs> It's, a, it's it's stereotypical. Like this guy's voice and his look is so stereotypical. It'd be like if they it'd be like if somebody did a documentary called Black People. <laughs> it was a dude dribbling a basketball and eating a bucket of chicken. He's like, that's right. <laughs> Do you understand the Greek guy alphabet? <laughs> this poor son of a bitch. Wolfpack analogy. Uh, alpha and beta are usually the um, two dominant uh, wolves. And then um, in most wolf packs, you do Omega, which is usually the last to feed, um, uh, the last to get mates, Steve, last for other stuff. Different one. We all take our turns down at the bottom. So. But you tend to. Uh, did, you, did you notice? There is always one. Even in a group, even in a group of a dudes who've got voices like that and dress like Paul Revere. There will always be at least one fat chick, <laughs> one fat girl, who's like, you know what, fuck it. <laughs> I'm so desperate for some dick, I will even tolerate these gentlemen. I'll take our turns down at the bottom, so. But you tend to stay there. I know, and I have to learn to gain more confidence around you guys and to try to build my... Not, not just us, in general. Yeah. This is a life skill. But going back to the packet... Sucker and succotash. Fucking Sylvester the Cat here. Giving us the deepest lore on omegas and incels. Animal analogy. The mates will see that too. Dude, if you got a voice like that, you shouldn't be using terms like mates. <laughs> you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be talking like that. It's just, it compounds on the problem. It's just, it compounds on the problems you're already obviously suffering from. It's always interesting to meet people in real life that you only know from the internet. You just want to see how it translates in real life. Oh, they got invited on a gay date. Something he will never ever need in his life. I've already needed one. Yeah, well, back in nine, that. back in the, during the Clinton administration. Look, I, if, if I, I needed one. Uh, you know, eight months I, ago, okay? Your oh, I just didn't have one, and I was too lazy to go get one. If you don't, uh, and oh, also, what? I did have chances in college while uh, Bush was president, but I just was too much of a voice. Well, that's the internet for you. Here we are, five friends who met from the internet. Except for Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> they keep talking about that cameraman. If you notice the bitter fucking resentment they have towards poor Kyle, the sound guy or cameraman, whatever the fuck he is, the <laughs> one dude calls him pretty boy, and pickup artist is like, yeah, except for fucking Kyle and his perfect hair, and his beautiful teeth, and his chiseled abs. Fucking Kyle. Kyle, would you like to go on a gay date with me? Will you be my wingman, Kyle? Well, there are several do's and don'ts about getting laid in a nightclub. I'll list them out for you. Here are the do's. Do, do, do not show up with us. That's number one on the do list. Number two on the do list. <laughs> well, no, that's it. That's the do list. Just do not. Do not show up with us. I know that you would think that'd be under the do not segment, but it's very imperative you understand this. Do not go on a gay date with me. There's no quicker way to make women walk out of the bar. Be attractive. Be hot. Be good looking. Be my Wow, yeah, that's uh that's gonna work out for everybody. Hey, be attractive, hot, and good looking. What's your problem, pussy? Can't get a date? You just need to be really fucking hot. I don't know if that advice is gonna really resonate with the World of Warcraft role players that you're hanging out with right now. Who've got who've got horrible voices, who are obese and overweight, who dress like Paul Revere, and who have Acne that extends to their back. They've got backne. 
I don't know if just telling him, hey, be hot is going to really work. Well, except for Kyle. Perfect, sexy Kyle. Muscular. Basically, I can tell you're incel by looking at you. Pale. I think being pale is a big sign of it. Don't. These are the don'ts. Don't be unattractive. Don't be average looking. Don't have pale skin. Because that also gives off the creepy serial killer vibe, you know? I don't know where you... Yeah, dude. Okay, you don't have enough of a tan. If you don't have a really rockin' tan, women are going to think you're a serial killer. All right? What you need to do is draw comics. <laughs> you need to draw comics of chicks getting fucked by alpha chads. That's what tells a woman you're mentally stable. Show it to her when you bring her to your apartment. Tell her you've got a surprise. And then pull out your hand-drawn comics of cartoon characters fucking bitches. And make sure to do the voiceovers. They really love that. When you do the, the moaning, Oh, Sugoi! You really want to get that voice high pitch, okay? You've got a method acting. Just imagine yourself spread eagle before a chad. Just, just let it permeate you when you're trying to impress a lady. Just, oh, Sugoi! Oh, Nietzsche! That's really got to get in that mindset. That's what the bitches love. Okay, pale boy? Hand-drawn <laughs> hand comic books. Yep, well, if you follow those rules, you're pretty much ga guaranteed a free lay every time you walk into the club. It's all in your control. Learn how to sleep and hit the weights. And wear clothes like Kyle. Listen to this music, guys. He, he did it again. What the fuck is the issue with Kyle? Why do they all keep focusing on the poor motherfucker working the boom mic? You need to dress sexy. Wear something, wear something good. Hit the weights. Like Kyle over there. Take a look at Kyle and imagine him naked. That's what you want to look like. What is this music? It's just beautiful music. I listen to it when I draw my comic books. It, it helps relax me and put me in my alpha chat mindset. I love that they're playing this fucking music. It sounds like a nature documentary. He was okay. Jeez, no wonder. Man, maybe he's got like distorted vision. What, my vision? Yeah, you just see every chick as being fat. Oh, okay. This is probably not cheap, right? Look what Kyle's wearing. He's got this polo on it. That's the fucking ninth time these dudes keep focusing on fucking Kyle. Fitting. He's got nice jeans on. He's got flat bottom sneakers with the Nike check. He's got this nice jacket here. How uncomfortable is poor Kyle right now? You know, he's probably reconsidering the mutton chop look. He's probably like, shit. Is that giving off a gay vibe? Is that what's going on here? These guys keep scoping me out. They keep complimenting my hair and my teeth and my body and my clothes and my confidence and my voice and my personality. Every, every time I try to go take a pee, one of them accidentally opens the bathroom door. Am I putting the vibe out? <laughs> are, these, are these guys getting confused? Your clothes are just off. When some guys are like, why can't I get girls? They'll be like, oh, it must be my looks. No, it must be my personality. Looks and personality are not mutually exclusive. In curing one, you cure the other. No, you don't. Okay, you can't do a to-do list and a don't list that is exclusively talking about how physically attractive you are and then try to tell people and convince them that if they have an award-winning personality, they suddenly won't be fat and ugly anymore. <laughs> okay, who are you trying to kid? You were just on a car ride telling people that uh, slightly overweight chicks were chubby fat fucks. <laughs> the same applies to you, bro. Are you gonna be you can be the sweetest man on earth, but if you weigh 600 pounds, that's not gonna suddenly make you look like an Adonis. Well, hello. It's UWT here, and we're in the mall giving Michael a makeover because he's fucking ugly. But not anymore. Once we're done, we'll transform this dud into a stud. Holy shit. Do you think this is what Sam Hyde watched for that fucking skit from, uh, for, for World Peace? <laughs> Do you think he was copping this dude's, uh, whole shtick? Peace out, niggas. <laughs> 
get get a 33 pair of these. This is the kind of guy who would wear Converse sneakers. Your nickname, only known to us, will be David Duke. That's a sergeant tie, sergeant shirt. The flat bottom soles are in, right, at, uh, right, Scott? Nah, this nigga needs to get some fresh J's. Fresh J's on this nigga. What the hell are fresh J's? Ken's shoes are very thin. Get the fuck out of the way. And why are shoes important? Turn the camera around. Say it to the camera. Why are shoes important? I don't know. You know the answer. Just what's the answer? What's the first thing a woman notices? Um, it certainly isn't personality, so. It's not the first thing a woman notices. It's shoes. What's the just first say it's thing? shoes. Just, just say Listen, you stupid bitch. I'm the expert here. I've never dated a woman. Just because you have a vagina and tits doesn't mean you understand what a woman thinks. Clearly you're fucking confused. Bright, shiny lights. <laughs> Metal objects like the boom mic above your head. It's like a somebody jiggling keys in front of a cat. It's, it's fucked with your primitive mind. It's the shoes. Just nod your head and say, shoes. The first thing. Dude, you weren't supposed to wear all the items at once. Hey, excuse me. Yeah. What do you think of this? I told him it looks terrible. It's comfortable. Yeah. All right, get a picture. <laughs> it's not a bad idea, but I don't think <laughs> what I need I'm going to get from these guys. I, I have a feeling we're going after a different kind of... Look? No. As I was saying, I have a feeling we are going after a different kind of female. I'm going after a female that has a vagina, whereas you're going after a female named Kyle, who happens to have a penis. So <laughs> I think we have different priorities on our fashion sense. Urban white trash. What we're trying to attract. What kind are you trying to go after? Someone who yeah, loves kind of you, you like, for you? Never answer that. What do you think looks matter? I think personality probably matters more. My looks are the only reason I am in some. I feel like for the most part, being sort of shy and introverted is not attractive. I'm gonna have to disagree with, I'm gonna have to disagree with our long-haired friend. You know, you got a, you got a haircut maybe? <laughs> Changed up your clothes a little bit? I don't think it's uh, the looks that are prohibiting you from getting a date, buddy. I think it might be your spastic nature. <laughs> You're convinced that if you want to be smart, you have to talk faster. <laughs> just, I would love to, it's, he's probably like the Micro Machine Man when he tries to pick up a woman. Just blurts it all out in one second, she has no idea what the crazy guy is saying. I think looks is 95% face. I feel it's better to be socially able. No, a chin that's balanced, facial thirds that are balanced. I feel like my life is kind of like a mess. I'm like, I think the Okay, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna take a small break here, I've gotta get a drink. I'm enjoying myself. We're obviously going to finish this up, and then, God, I hope that website still exists. I hope that website still exists, chat. Let me pull up the chat. We'll, uh, we'll have a little conversation for a second. Let everybody go take a bathroom break. <laughs> See where things go. Oh, hold on here. Pop out chat. Let's, uh, let's see. I'll ask you, chat, since we're watching this amazing documentary. Which is it? Which, which do you think uh, attracts the ladies more? Do you think it's personality or physical appearance? And follow-up question, chat. What do you think our boy Urban White Trash's uh, chances are of fucking Kyle? All right, I got my fingers crossed. I think it's they're star-crossed lovers. All right, I think Kyle is, uh, I think he's the one. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I, I think they make an adorable couple. He's just got to make Kyle love him, you know? Uh, just, you know, he just wants one kiss. Just, uh, where is it? Just, uh, just want Kyle. Kyle, I just want one kiss, okay? It's not gay. It's not gay if you kiss me, Kyle. You're so beautiful. You're so fucking beautiful, Kyle. Why won't you kiss me? <laughs> oh, these people. Fantastic. All right, we'll take a small break. I'm going to go get a drink. Take a bathroom break if you want. We'll come back. Start watching the rest of this. I'll get to Super Chats at the end of the stream. Or later on. I'll go through some as well. Uh, but uh, give it like uh, four or five minutes. Be right back. Got that. The hater.
we're, we're back from our, our little break. I will, uh, you know, let me just do this real quick. I'll take a few minutes. Uh, we'll take, uh, what is it, 8 o'clock? We'll go to 8.05. Read some Super Chats just to get caught up. And then uh, we're back into the, the Love Quest documentary. Again, we're trying to find pro tips for our boy Dave. All right, ladies, uh, ladies are rejecting him, and we need to find some way of uh, making the bitches understand. And then we are most definitely going to loveshy.com. And if it does not still exist, we're going to find a fucking archive of that website. <laughs> we're going to explore the fuck out of it. And then we're going to find that dude's comic book. Because I fucking need to see that comic book. From Mr. Zeke Blostein. When I jump over the past to look ahead, I do it intentionally. This time is short. There's no time for fruitless debates. We must act immediately, thoroughly and decisively, as has always been the National Socialist way. Honk, honk. From Richard Dempsey. You need to read... Oh, you don't need to read this. All right, then. From Kyle, or Carl Skidmarks. Press P to poop on Ethan Ralph's time slot. Blown the fuck out. From Autism Forums. Papa Jim, thank you for not imploding like all the other fools with the stupid dyed hair. No wonder it's all going downhill. Gunts and cowards. Blue Satoshi. Attention all gamers. Shit rat needs your help. Send you send uh send Jim a super chat to save him with your parents' credit card. Sixteen digits on the front, three on the back, and expiration date. Hurry before it's too late. NN are you. Oh, and Blue Satoshi again, more spoilers for uh Endgame. Sorry, chat, but it's a super chat, I gotta read it. They were wrong about Ant Man going up Thanos' butt. He actually went up Iron Man's butt instead. Uh spoiler alert. Ant-Man wedges himself up Iron Man's asshole. From Caleb Lambright, Jim, I made you art. Check Facebook. Post, please. It's my birthday. I will take a look later on. From Sean Turner, Jim makes money by doing nothing. GG. Have you been sleeping like a baby now that Ross and his elite super hackers forgiven you for their bathtub videos? Well, I was used by, I was used by King of Pull, that nefarious son of a bitch. From Caleb Lambright, my girlfriend Jess is here for the first time, or for the first time stream. SS. Uh, well, welcome, Jess. From Sean Turner. The stream is over. I can be David's friend. Hands handsome. Jordan Peterson told Davina he should wash his penis. <laughs> from, from Reluctant Realist. Shout out to www.autoadmit.com, the most prestigious law school discussion board in the world. From Nicholas Russell. Boogie died and went off to see Nurgle. Even he was disgusted by his deed. Dr. Spaghetti, Jimbo, you nicker. We all know you collaborated with Sam Hyde to shoot up the synagogue to have a stream topic. I <laughs> gotta get that content, bro. From Julie Jinx, spank me, daddy. Spank me hard and make me beg for more. From 113657, you read this, you gay. Well, I am a gay man now. I, I could go join Urban White Trash on one of his gay dates. Little Bits, Jimbo, you gonna play some classic WoW this summer? Uh, nope, not uh, not really my my shtick. JD, 1989, here's some superberries for you, Jim. Keep up with the outstanding content, man. From Black Potato, Google Teacher Aid sends Hitman after five-year-old. <laughs> I, well, I have to now. We will do that at the end of the stream. Dante, the lifting capitalist, Jim, take my super or my free super chat. I paid for drink soy ha. From Gabe P. Washerite, great stream for a long drive or a long ass drive. Thanks, Daddy. Google Schoon, Medicare, have you heard about Nintendo banning the tranny flag stages from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Stage Builders? Might want to check it out. Uh, yes, I am aware. Uh, the thing I find weird is people have been talking about this like it's some uh, extraordinary feat. Nintendo is a uh, pretty clear policy. They don't want to engage in uh, politics or activism. And so if you're going to, you can draw all the stage cocks that you want. I mean, make a thousand stages with nothing but dicks. They're fine with that. Giant tits lactating. They love that. Just keep the politics and activism out of it. <laughs> and they're, they're fine. Some kind of taco. Marduk Nibbers, rise up. From Eduardo Ramirez. Grande Arribas, uh, me favorite Papa Miati. Damon Darwin, you lost the game. From Wexley Yarway, yo, lit intro. Uh, you can again thank Odeker, who was the person that came up with that. I will uh, have my good friend... Uh, Mr. Antibully on Twitter. I'll have him link to the video itself after the stream for people that want to check it out. From Mr. Shades, have you seen uh, Canada's clown world faggot Shekels yet? 
<laughs> if I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question. I'll be honest with you, Mr. Shades. Undead Gaijin, love your content, Papa. Uh, were you amazed that blonde-haired aboriginals in the Rama Rama don't sniff petrol video? Blonde at birth and dark hair when puberty kicked in. Uh, was extraordinary. Almost at 8.05 here. Two more minutes. Mr. Dr. Crow. Jim, don't have a, uh, don't be a candy ass. Just say Rudy Poo. Megan Gubney, love the new intro. King Frederick, Carl, or Carl Cringe is my new fetish. Tree Master Bob, hey Jim, in regards to the midget Gordon Ramsay lookalike found eaten in a badger's den last week, my theory is he wandered into the wrong hobbit hole. That's as good as any, I'll be honest. Random number nine, someone call the cops on shit rat. He's shooting guns with Jeff Holiday. Stop him before he kills some innocent girl who rejects him. From Ronson, if you want to see more gross cooking related videos, look up How to Cook a Krabby Patty by Doubles Wee. Lone Goddess, this is the best you got uh, that remix ever. From Gur3009, Jim, thanks for recommending G Man Lives and uh, Arlo. Uh, yeah, G Man Lives does great videos. Uh, especially his earlier ones on FPS stuff. He, he covered a lot of like PC shit, uh, FPS focused. Really good videos. Love his stuff. And Arlo is good too. If you're going to watch a talking puppet, Arlo's the one to go with. I think he just put up like a three hour a fucking Zelda review that's like a compilation of every Zelda video he's done. So it's a. Uh, if you, if you want to kill a few hours, there you go. From Southpaw Slim, Shalom, Father James. From Cronge Gamer, shout out to Donnie. Watching my favorite film right now, Clerks. Question, who has the worst teeth, Nick Bates or Boogie? Clearly Boogie had the worst teeth, which is amazing to say, but he did. From Hex, I have autism and your videos help me calm down when mommy doesn't make me teddies. Thanks, Bitcoin Assassin. Why can't any of these spurgs ever look directly into the camera? <laughs> Maybe we'll find out as we explore the video more. From Bitcoin Assassin, okay, uh, Emperor Calbatine. Hey, you potato Nigerian. Can you say happy one-year anniversary from Caleb to Emily? Oh, there you go. Happy one-year anniversary from Caleb to Emily. And finally, Nick Hall. Get shit rat some Asian snapper. I hear it slanted like their eyes. All right. I will continue reading later on. Let's get back to the documentary. We've got so much to explore. Again, I hope, David, if you're watching this, really, you know, these guys speak from the heart. I think if you <laughs> if you follow their advice, it's going to help you, buddy. All right, because we've learned some valuable shit already. All right, lesson number one, be attractive. All right, that's as simple as that. You want to get a girlfriend, be good looking. Hot fucking advice from the pickup artist community. Just, uh, just be good looking, bro. What the fuck's your issue, nerd? Uh, advice, uh, you know, second piece of advice, draw comic books of Alpha Chad's fucking bitches. They love it. And voice act it. That, the point number two's got two uh, sub points. So, you know, kind of roll it up into itself. I think uh, we're learning as we go. And obviously, uh, you know, advice number three going forward, Kyle's beautiful. He's so beautiful. God, have you seen Kyle? Have you seen his teeth and his face? Perfect face. God, he's beautiful. Why won't Kyle go out with me? All right. Uh, let us go back and pick up where we pick up where we left off with the pickup artist. See what I did there? I'm so clever. Oh, such a clever boy. You know why? If I was a woman, would I want to date me someone like that? I'm like, no. I'm tall and slender, and girls like that. But you know, face is 95% of everything. If you don't have a good face, you're done. Why do you think Advance is so obsessed with his face? Maybe because his face is something that he can't really change. But he can and yeah. will change it. Well, with plastic surgery. Yeah, but that's like one of those things that it's like making a film. I want to be a filmmaker, but it, making but a film is such a hassle plastic. that I can always come up with an excuse not to do it. Maybe, maybe it's not so much the face that's the issue for Advance. Maybe throwing it out here. Maybe it's that he looks like a titless woman when he has his shirt off. <laughs> Maybe he looks like a chick that would be wearing Birkenstocks, walking around a Berkeley college campus, talking about some feminist agenda. I'm pretty sure he's wearing ruby red lipstick, too. I'm putting this out there. His hair is unnaturally long, and it looks like he's wearing blush and <laughs> lipstick. Look at his cheeks. That looks like a shade of pink, an unnatural pink, ruby red lips, just saying. You look like a titless woman. 
I was like, well, she, he can fix his face. Just get a hammer, you fucking pussy. Get a hammer and go in the bathroom and just just fix that shit. One good swing ought to, ought to do it. Yeah, I made a couple films too, but... I already got a rhinoplasty, so... I have a Photoshop picture where I shortened my face, I made my cantal tilt positive. I'd like to have my Neanderthal brow grinded down. I would like a cantal plasty, which is when they lift the corners of the eyes. I might... What the fuck is this? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck is this? <laughs> doesn't it doesn't even look human? <laughs> what is this? Looks like a woman. You don't want to be an attractive man. You want to turn yourself into a woman. <laughs> He's so confused. Oh, they all want to get fucked by Kyle. I decide to get a revision rhinoplasty. Hi, my name's Heather, and I want to be your date, Kyle. <laughs> come on, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Come, come on. Let's just cards on the table. You are a gay man. You are a gay man that wants to be a woman. <laughs> this has nothing to do with getting rejected. You just you just want to put a dress on and look pretty. You can be honest with us. You can be honest with us, bro. I'm gonna wear the shirt that Ed doesn't like just to piss him off. After I get cosmetic surgery, I'm gonna wear this shirt when I approach women. And I'm gonna get their number right in front of your face. Well, how are you gonna afford cosmetic surgery? Hopefully I'll get a job someday. Uh, yeah, here's hoping. You know that plastic surgery I want to get? The extensive rhinoplasty and uniplasty, lip job, Botox, cheek extensions, uh, yeah, eye, eye surgeries. You know, all that shit that's going to cost like, I don't know, eighty nine, maybe $100,000. You know, one day, hoping, hoping and praying my job at the gas station is going to let me afford that when I'm 60 or 70 years old. Yeah, but you'll be old and ugly by then. Yeah, and then I'll need a facelift. I know more about fat chicks than probably anyone on the planet. Like, I can write a book on them. I look at ugly fat chicks and I see how easily they get men. And, you know, sometimes that makes me angry. Do you ever resent women? Sometimes I do because of how easy they have it and how hard we have it in comparison. Look at the fucking look he's given Kyle. All right, come on. Come the fuck on now. He's angry at women because they can get guys. And look at the look he's given. He's got that hand on his hip. He's like, yeah, you want this, don't you, Kyle? It can be yours. We can play pretend. I can be your Kanata. Let's just turn the lights off, Kyle. Nobody's got to know. It's all, it's all pretend. Just pretend it's a V sleepover, Kyle. Nobody ever has to know, Kyle. Our little secret. What makes you an expert on women having never touched a girl, kissed a girl, or had sex with a girl, or been in a relationship with a girl? You don't need experience to know about something. Sometimes when I'm in social circles, there are girls around and I observe them. And that's what I, a lot of what I base my theories on. Sex, I don't think most women like sex. I think it's something that they do just, I don't know, just because. I mean, like the guy wants it, I guess. I don't know. I mean,. Women don't have a high sex drive. I, I don't know, I think... That's that's patently untrue, by the way, Chad. I, <laughs> David, if you're watching this, what that man said is untrue. Women do have sex drives. <laughs> he's, he's got this weird idea of what women are. He thinks of them as like some alien species. <laughs> this is fucking remarkable. I think you have somewhat feminist views, but I mean, that's it. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I agree that women are people. No, see? That's bullshit. And if you don't realize that, then you've been brainwashed. Women aren't people, okay? They're holes that have been put here by God for us to relieve ourselves into. Why won't anybody date me? <laughs> it's in my shirt? Women aren't human beings. They exist to cook and suck my dick. Why don't I have a girlfriend again? <laughs> Why am I so lonely? Do you think that women ever have trouble finding love? Nope. What about sex? <laughs> That's even easier. That's like shooting a dead fish in a barrel. <laughs> when you have a machine gun, infinite ammo. If a woman wanted to get sex, she could go to a grocery store and ask any of the male cashiers, and I'm sure they all would, even the married ones. 
Even the Catholic married ones. I would do anything just for a 300 pound ugly white girl. I would. F <laughs> this dude is just a. <laughs> I would fucking do anything for a fat bitch. Okay? All right, I know I said they're not people, but I'll even actually treat her like she's a living, sentient being. I'll pretend, okay? I'll pretend the talking hole has a personality and a soul. A soul like God put into men. If a fat bitch will touch me. Fight in the front lines, the bloodiest battle the world has ever seen. And come back with no limbs. If it meant that that would guarantee me an ugly fat chick for life. Women are women. Men are men. You're still humans. They're not some special... They're not some thing to be placed on a pedestal. And I'll tell you one thing. Women think the same thing about men sometimes. If you can put yourself in the female perspective, you'll realize that they, at occasion, are just as nervous about finding a mate as you are. Actually, my problem has been I've only been around people who felt like that. Like okay. most of the friends that I was close to were either married mm -hmm. or had no social, were not in any dating scenario. Yeah, like but most. I didn't. I fucking love the disgust that Paul Revere has on his face. I don't know who this dude is. I don't know why he's here. Uh, we're not in any, any dating scenario. Where is it? Come on, do the face. Yeah, like, but there we go. That's the face I'm talking about. Just, he has this look of contempt on his face. Like, he, the dude dressed up like he's from the fucking 1700s. Can't stand these people. The <laughs> guy that fucking LARPs all the time. I, I, I don't think they're at a convention. I think they're just hanging out. Just a fucking look of pure hatred in his eyes. I didn't get born married. Right, but I wasn't and around people did. when they were... <laughs> yeah, I got born married to her. That was just really weird. <laughs> you must explain the cake. No, we don't Go have to on. talk about the cake. You need to talk about the cake. Come on. What's the cake? It was a vagina cake. It was, in fact, a vagina cake. And they specifically saved the special portion for me. Uh-huh. And I tried eating this thing, and, I, and it was like, oh, yeah, it's not going to be a problem. I'm going to lick it and everything. It'll be hilarious. And then I go, and I just got Choke. red in the face and choked. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I'm just... You couldn't eat a vagina cake. <laughs> okay? Why? It's it's a fucking cake. It's it, I mean, it's not an actual vagina. Did they get you a fish-flavored cake? Is that the problem? Did you go down expecting vanilla and come up coughing up catfish instead? <laughs> what was the problem with your vagina cake? I got... <laughs> Incels like soft porn because they've never seen a vagina. The most most of them I've ever seen is like a girl in a bikini. So they're going to end up jerking off to that because that's what they've seen in real life. Because a vagina and titties, because they've never seen those IRL, is kind of scary to them. I think there's some projection going on here. Because you're the one who's afraid of vaginas. Yeah, we saw how you looked at Kyle. Okay, we know what's going on. You're not fooling us. We saw you sniffing his underwear earlier. How do you explain that? When Kyle went to take a shit in the bathroom and he forgot to flush, you stuck your head in the bowl and all we could hear was We know what's up, dude. You're not fooling anybody. Oh wait, you're the one that just reminded me of the threat. I'm terrified of female genitals. I totally forgot about that. I just don't like looking at him. Guys just want to fuck them. They don't want to like look at them. They're like they look like what are you they don't look like meat that? sockets. Bumping ugly. They're not beautiful. They're not. Do you like the way ugly. dicks look, Sarah? Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. Let they're us look at me? pictures of. <laughs> oh God, I can't even look at it. I'm serious. Like I, I Google vaginas see. and I get this fucking picture. I can't even fucking look at it. Okay. Oh come on. I, I, I don't even, this isn't even about shy boys and incels, is it? These are men that are living in the closet and just can't come to terms with the fact that they want to suck a dick. All right, this is a, a meeting of Outlines Anonymous. And all these dudes have been lusting after Kyle. I can't even, vaginas, oh God, get it away from me. I can't even, I can't even look at a pussy, bro. That shit's gross. It doesn't go out like my penis does. Did God, God made a mistake, I think. I don't like looking at them. They're too Most low. These guys probably don't. It's they're too just, low? It's... Yes. What do you mean they're too low? I wish they were parallel with my dick. 
Sugar magnolia blossoms bloom and heads all empty and I don't care. Wait, so, so why, my baby why did you yeah. think you were incel before and love shy now? Because I used to be incel and now I'm love shy. But how do you? How, when was like the turning point? When I got muscles and better clothes. Do you think you'd be able to hide? Did you leave those muscles at home? <laughs> what, when I got muscles, where where are they? I'm looking at you right now. I'm not seeing them. Did you leave them in your suitcase? Are they, did Kyle take them into the bathroom with him? Yeah, that you're a virgin when you lose it? Uh, you mean if? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I think I can hide it well. No, actually, I don't know if I can. So Lori starts complaining to me, and she doesn't know I'm a virgin. She's like, I can't believe I had to take his virginity away. I mean, I'm all cool with guys being virgins if it's because of their religious beliefs, but if a guy just can't find someone to have sex with him, that's pretty pathetic. And I mean, that's just the truth of how they feel about it, you know? So do you feel as though you're a good lover? I'm sure I could be. What a fucking mean question to ask a bunch of virgins. Holy shit. I don't know who's making this documentary, but that was cruel. That was that was actually straight up cruel. So hey, tell me, dude, that's never touched a woman. How good are you in bed? <laughs> How good of a lover are you, virgin? If I if I uh, had the chance, I know what goes on. I mean, the penis enters the vagina, thrust, 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 question mark, question mark, question mark, problem. and then the stork brings the baby. Okay, I took sex ed too. I understand how this works. All right, the man puts his uh, willy whacker and the woman's hoo-ha, and then the bird flies the baby in nine months later. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Yo ho, let the winds blow. Just hear the ocean roar. <clears throat> We're sailing to a better land to be and sell no more. Ahoy, we sail the seas. I'll yell out land ho soon. We'll dock on the shores and unzip our drawers and get some hijabi poon. The we perfect life. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of what I want to say about that because I don't want to. I don't know if I should get into my fantasies. I'd like to be like a very androgynous Korean guy who has like a stalker girlfriend. We're not. You're not putting that in there. You're not right. There was urban white trash who wanted muscles and cash and made jokes about his poos. Yeah, Vegeta. It was Vegeta, right? Of course, of course, another dude on the incel forum would would call himself Vegeta. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Vegeta, how's it going? How's Bulma doing, buddy? <laughs> Did you put that bitch in her place? Remember, women aren't people. Keep strong, Vegeta. I'm somebody else from the forum. Can you guess who? Let's play a game, Vegeta 2. The <laughs> reason I'm outgoing now is just because you guys already know the worst shit about me that you could possibly find out and use against me. I'm shy around people I'm trying to impress because, you know, for, for me it's just a big game, you know. Just a little nervous about this documentary. I got the 2.30 feeling. What are you nervous will happen in the documentary? Uh, you're gonna put it on the news and... Nine <laughs> <laughs> o'clock news! <laughs> Investigative Guys, reporter uncovering dens of misogyny. She <laughs> infiltrated their ranks, exposed one of their most outspoken members <laughs> under the handle of urban white trash. <laughs> they say in that Hallelujah song, the one that's like, I heard there was a secret. Yeah, I figured you'd be a fan of that song. I'm not a fan. No, you're not a fan? Oh, okay. Oh, you're 0 for 2, dude. All right, the first time you talked to a woman in a store and you basically yelled at her because she didn't agree with your stupid assessment that women are mostly interested in men's shoes. And now you're trying to tell her what kind of music she likes, and again, you're dead wrong. Just admit that you're gay. All right, there's nothing wrong with it. We'll accept you. Just, just be honest and ask Kyle on a date. Okay, well, there's a line that goes, maybe there's a god above, but all I ever learned from love was how to shoot at someone who outdrew you. I don't oh, even know what yeah. that means. But I, re I recognize that. I know that's that's kind of how I feel about everything. I don't think I'll ever run into 
a duplicate. I'll never run into somebody, oh, you remind me of Advanced, or you remind me of, you know, Urban White Trash. They're unique, <laughs> for better or worse, which is not, I don't think it's that common. I think most people, I don't know, maybe, like, people are just, like, too afraid to be, like, so... I, you know, I, I'm just, I need to do, like, an update like on this. Hold too on. Too afraid to be, like, like, so... These two are gonna fuck. I'm just putting that out there. It's gonna happen. I don't like girls. Their pussies aren't parallel with my penis. They're perpendicular. Don't you know what? Don't you know geometry and algebra? Their pussies are too parallel. <laughs> it's, like, what is this? this motherfucker's doing trigonometry on some chick's genitals. He wants to be a woman, and he wants to fuck a man. It's a match made in heaven. Just admit it, and just be together. <laughs> Crazy. The way these two are. They're unafraid to be crazy. So, that's my sad little life. What do you guys think? I just want to be like in with one person and I'd be totally happy as long as it was like a good relationship the blonde guy it, it, he's a normal looking dude he just needs a little bit of confidence that's his only problem the other ones are psychopaths this guy if he just was a little just a tiny bit more confident he could get a date he wouldn't really have that much trouble he's normal looking he's just an average dude <laughs> the other ones one wants to be a woman one's gay like, you know, they've got their own baggage. This guy, just a little bit of confidence will do him well. And the rest of it just wouldn't matter. I get overwhelmed, and I think I should just quit. And I don't do anything, because I'm like, well, what's the point? So I just figure, why even try? What's the motivation? I was thinking, I was thinking I should have jumped off while you were doing the pan. I see it as like you know abstract art that's what art is all about it's like the ultimate art project. i want to end your documentary with my suicide i've lived the life of a virgin with rage for 28 years now and it's all come to this the culmination of everything the end point the summary of my existence will be me splattering against the pavement below film me film me if i swan dive to my death to kill yourself by jumping onto a pavement and splattering yourself, I think. Aren't I cheery? <laughs> if she had fucking said do a backflip to him, chat, I see the suggestions that are scrolling by. If she had fucking told that guy to do a backflip, that probably would have been the bridge too far. <laughs> that would have been the moment that he fucking did it. He would, he would have thrown himself off the roof. Yeah, basically, I just hung around her for a really, really long time. Until oh, see, look, our boy made it. David, see, there's hope. There's light at the end of the tunnel. He called his ex-girlfriend from high school, and you get a happy ending. She did something. I kissed Mike, and he sat there and didn't do anything, so I ran away, and I felt so rejected because I thought you didn't like me or something, and I felt like I made a total ass of myself. You kissed me for like 15 minutes. I think if I didn't like you, I would have ran off before I don't remember the 15, 15 minutes. minutes. It was pretty long. So what do you think about um, Mike going to the website? 
Make what? Running a website. You're That's, running a website? I don't really run it. Oh, God. Wow, this documentary chick is a bitch. <laughs> she asked the virgin, hey, uh, how good are you at sex? And now, now when he finally maybe has a glimmer of hope of not being alone for the rest of his life, by finding his old ex-girlfriend who's a fatty, she opens up, she fucking cock blocks him and says, so what do you think about him uh, running a website dedicated to men that hate women? Uh, you know, virgins with rage. What do you think of that? Yeah, didn't you know Mike over here? He runs a website dedicated to, uh, to how much they hate you. You're not a person, by the way. That was a quote from him earlier. Wait, is this the group that you were telling me about? Yeah, that's where, she, where, where I met her from, where she posted I didn't know her you message. Ran that. Okay. Yeah, I haven't always ran it. Go, Mike. Oh, she wants that dick. <laughs> she, oh, documentary chick, you just got fucked. You've been wrecked. Oh, here, a burning wreckage left on the floor. You tried to block him. You tried to fuck it up, but it didn't work, did it? She didn't even give a shit. She congratulated him for running the website. Oh, Mike is going to be getting some pussy tonight. <laughs> he keeps prodding me to tell you what the website is like about. The real reason we put the website is when we're all perpetually single <laughs> and frustrated about it. You have girlfriends in college, though. Uh, almost. Well, then you had almost girlfriends in college. Yeah. Really? Why didn't you want to tell me that it was like just single boys? What? I think as I get older, I get more depressed because I feel like I have less time. And I think, I don't know, I kind of like, I kind of like being this way. I don't, I feel annoyed that I feel like to have like a normal life, I have to like alter. But then what's the alternative? Keep going on the way you are, which doesn't work. I think when you look at the bigger picture, though, I think you're pretty, and you have it pretty good. I mean, compared to a lot of other people in this world, you have a really good life. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's not what you think it should be, but you do. You have a good life. She's scoping out her next meal. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? <laughs> That's a scary question. <laughs> I don't know. I've either figured out everything or I haven't, which would be bad if it's the latter. I, just, I mean, I don't think about it because I just assume I'm going to figure it out. Otherwise, I'd probably have a mental breakdown now. I want it to be as if I never existed. I wish I could do that. I wish I could make, make my life so that it never happened. And what if you miss out on meeting your dream girl? So what? You never existed. Why would you care? Even if you do meet her, something bad could happen. She could die, or she could just dump you. So it's like, it's, even if it, it does happen, it's not like... Oh, Mike, you're going a little too emo here. <laughs> you should be talking about the nice time you had. Oh, wasn't that aquarium fun? Oh, did you enjoy dinner? I had a great time. We should do a movie sometime. Instead, <laughs> instead you're talking about, I wish I never existed. And what if I meet the perfect girl and she gets hit by a fucking... <laughs> a fucking bus... What if she gets hit by a bus and bleeds out? Just sc screaming on the ground. Nothing I can do. I'm not a fucking doctor. That's how life is. It's misery and pain. Okay? Sumo lady? Alright? Some people just get fucking hit by buses. Not, uh, not really the cheery end of a date I think she was looking for, Mike. You know. It's not like your problems are solved. Oh, just heartwarming. And we've learned a lot today.
David, if you're watching, I think we've really picked some tips up to help you moving forward in your life. I think uh, I think we we know what the, the advice you need. Be good looking. Try to get a date with Kyle because he's a dreamboat. If you can't find a woman, just remember women aren't people. Uh, they're just holes that can cook. And make sure to tell them that very vocally. If a woman tells you you have it good, remind her that she could get hit by a fucking bus and life is suffering and pain. They love emo whining. Women really, really dig that. Confidence is, uh, uh, is bullshit. Oh, 2011. Holy shit, this is an old fucking... Uh, <laughs> this is an old one. Oh, where is it? Where is it? David, David Guns. There we go. I just wanted one kiss, bitch. What's your issue? Oh, we've, okay, we're going to go find this fucking website. I need to find this dude's fucking comic book. We need to go look at this fucking website. Holy shit, I think it still exists. Oh my god, it still fucking exists. Oh no, 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 what the fuck? Okay, hold on, hold on, we got it. <laughs> did they just, did they just shut it down? The issue, okay, everything's gone. Why is everything gone? Do I need to register? No, it says there's 762 users online. But I'm going to show you this. Everything is hidden. Why is everything hidden? Okay, this is the website, <clears throat> loveshy.com, this forum, I think. But everything, <laughs> there's only two fucking threads viewable. New members must be registered to see posts. Okay. All right, let's do it. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to register. All right, chat, we're going to do this uh, real time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to register to check it out. Uh, register. To register, please tell us when you were born, before 2006 or after. Okay, well, I'm going to go with before. Uh, yep, I agree to the terms, sure. Okay, chat. We're registering an account to take a look at the Love Shies. What, uh, what should be my name? What name should I use, chat? Uh, Pussy Slayer? Do you think that's it's too much? Maybe it's a little too, a little too forward? Maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. What I'm, I'm trying to think. Chat, you're going to have to suggest a really amazing username. I've got to blend in. They can't know that... Uh, I'm not one of the love shy bros. Mr. Minecraft? Well, I could do that. Zoomer Jim? That's that's a it's a good one too. Loves hack sixty-nine. <laughs> no, I got it. That was a good suggestion. Somebody recommended Davina Shitrat. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, okay. Just registering my account, chat. Just, it's going to take a minute. Okay. Why? Well, I need to think of an amazing password. Perfect. Uh, yeah, we'll leave all that. Reasons for joining. Uh, women are bitches. I think that... that women are bitches, I think, is probably the best best reason to give to join. Let's do it. The justification you entered is too short. Oh, fucking pardon me. Women are bitches and aren't human. I can't stand that they try to impersonate us men acting like they need to eat food and drink water to survive. I fucking know the truth. <laughs> Those living holes come from Mars. The government <laughs> doesn't <laughs> the government doesn't want people to know. But I do because my friend works for the CIA. All right, I think that's going to get me in. Let's do this. What okay, why the justification too short? No, it's not too short. How could that be too short? Okay, I'm, I'm going to have to retry this chat. I think we got a little bit of an issue. Try one more time. Oh, I see what the issue was. Choose the picture. Okay. And there we go. All right, I, I think we're in. Oh my God, what the fuck? Why are you doing this? Oh, now it's too long. Get fucked. It's too... <laughs> okay. All right, all right. 
or I so many technical difficulties. What the fuck? All right. Your account has been created. However, your account must be activated. This could take anywhere from a few hours to a few days, dude. Come on. I'm I'm kind of fucking disappointed, chat. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh wait, wait. Welcome to. Oh, oh my God. Oh oh, here we go. <laughs> just just let me in. Okay. Holy shit. Uh, well, chat, we ran into a brick wall. I'm sorry. Account has been created, but I have to wait. We're going to have to wait for a follow-up stream that you can see right there. Uh, <laughs> I gave them, I think, good reasoning for wanting to join. I can't see why they wouldn't let me join. Okay. What was that dude's name? Urban White Trash? Let's see if we can find his comic book. Uh, pickup artist. Comic. Oh, please. If anybody can find Urban White Trash's uh, amazing comic book so we can read it on stream, at the very least, if we could salvage that, send it to my good friend, Mr. Anti-Bully, over on Twitter. Uh, we can take a look at uh, his amazing artwork. I think it's something we need to see. Because, uh, you know, I think it rivals Chris Chan, I'll be honest with you. Uh, but we'll find out. Uh, you know, maybe... <sighs> I don't know. Chad, I would say try to sign up for an account yourself. <laughs> maybe maybe we can breathe life into this community and give them some great advice. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, no, I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing. Uh, <laughs> I'm not seeing. Oh. I'm not seeing uh, the comic book. That is sad. That would have been a fucking great way to just kind of kind of end the stream, you know? It would have been good. It would have been a good way to end the stream. I'm sorry, chat. failed you. I should have been more prepared. I should have signed up for a Love Shy account a week ago. I didn't really think about it. I didn't really put much thought into it. But uh, maybe they'll let David Shitrat come on by. Maybe, maybe they'll let, D or I'm sorry, Davina. Davina Shitrat come on by and get some advice about uh, how to pick up those slots. All right. Well, I'll give people some time. If you can find that comic book, please, for the love of God, send it to my good friend, Mr. Antibully. I'll catch up on some of the super chats, and then we'll see if uh, anybody can get a hold of it. Send it on over. Oh, excuse me. Pulling a DSP there. Almost belched. Terrible. Terrible. From Morris M. Hey, Jim. Have you seen Blizzard's latest PR nightmare? They tried to ban a bunch of models editing ERPers, or ERPers, uh, <laughs> erotic role players, I guess. But got cold feet and undid every ban in 24 hours. Wow, shocking. Blizzard fucked up. Who saw that coming? That's never happened before. From Aaron. David Charette, what dreams of Lauren Southern fisting his ass? Remember, Lauren. Good morning, Lauren. I've just raped you. Yes! I can go up! That's right. From Tyrone Bad Credit, Papa Jim, always enjoy your streams. Please call my brother a nigger faggot. I'd really appreciate it. Well, you didn't you didn't list your brother's name. So I, who am I calling that? From Charles de Gaulle, thanks for the stream, lad. Fantastic content. From Keegan the Great Jim, look up Cassandra Rain on Facebook. Mike's content, Matt should explore the barrel of a gun. From Everyone Lies, so when this girl does it uh, to the alt-right, she's crazy. But when she does it to David Shitrat, it's believe all women. Noggins are jogging in double time. From Elizabeth Bathory, Thanos snapped Lauren out of existence. From Noyo Biss, Matt and Davina went to the quarry because they were looking for the money, but instead found each other. You know, they could be. <sighs> Star-crossed lovers. True love, true love found a way. Believe in miracles, bro <laughs> believe in miracles, brothers. It can happen. From Mr. Mayreep. You see Ice Poseidon ghost video yet? Look up ghost politics leeching Ice Poseidon. You know, actually, I'm, I'm considering doing a uh, video, a, a big video, on in real life uh, streamers. And I might do some digging streams because uh, of some of the shit I've seen going on with Ice, of all things. Uh, like, his his metrics are weird right now. He used to, I, like, the last time I paid attention, he was pulling in between twenty and 30,000 viewers a live stream. And now from what I've heard and what I've seen myself, it's between, like, 
two to five thousand. He's not getting a lot of money. He had all this shit with the FBI, shut down his website. All the other streamers are running into issues. I I don't know what's going on exactly, but it's like all the IRL streamers are falling apart. Uh, so I wanted to try, like explore that and figure out why that's happening. Uh, so that's something I'm going to do at a later time. I'm just kind of laying the groundwork for it now and just kind of reading through the Ice Poseidon 2 subreddit and looking up streams and uh, clips and shit like that. Tiger slash LL. Jim, get a load of this guy, Jason Blaha. He runs a fitness channel and he says he was a CIA mercenary assassin recruited in high school to do wet work. <laughs> sure. You know, all those uh, CIA uh, black operatives. Love to tell people about that online. From Ratman, dude went halfway around the world to get curved by a waterhead. Trues, Lauren, Lauren, please respond. Lauren, Bitcoin assassin, combat the alt-right, sleep with me. Chromium, Apollo, David should make it easier for everyone and buy a flashlight instead of dating women. Non-edgy username, I'm just here for the memes. From Cameron Bottoms, I asked you this last week, but you didn't get around to reading it. What are your thoughts on Common Filth? I don't know much about Common Filth. I know we talked about degeneracy a lot. I'm pretty sure the catchphrase "women or white women fuck dogs comes from him. Uh, and I know he did like podcasts and videos and then stopped doing them. That is about the depth of my knowledge on Common Filth and his content. Ray, Jim, please alert people of the smelly Albanian known as Chef and watch the kids around him. Also, the RA will smite the libs. Tell brothers. From zero Ken two two seven, could you give a shout out to Jenny that dirty Jew? Woo! Lone goddess. Now wait a minute, David. No, top autist. Let the peener grow. Alan down under. Have you seen the ham planet that says diets are sexual assault? Look up Sonali Rashat war. I've seen, you know, I I did a lot of Tumblrism videos, uh, talking about how crazy those fucking people are. And on Tumblr, you'd come across that a lot. A lot of fat women bitching about their doctors. Uh, lots of fat people saying that uh, doctors didn't get it, that they were fat not because they were eating too much. It was always my genetics or bone density or some other ridiculous thing. I always love the excuse that, um, <laughs> what's it they said? Um, oh, you know, I only eat once or twice a day. Of course, what they weren't telling you with that once or twice a day was they were eating five large pizzas and three buckets of chicken. From Alien, spoiler alert. Oh, no, I think we read that. Oh, yeah, we've read this one. That was a another Endgame one, talking about what Thanos did to Black Panther. I'm the true brother. Hey, Jim, can you tell my brother Jeffrey he's an egg? Carrera Sky, can we get an awoo for these spastics? Awoo, awoo. From Bigums, the eternal incel. Tactical boomerism, can we watch the butter dance? YouTube it. Moderator Marcy, hey chat, press F for David Shitrat's internet career. He just wanted to own the alt-right. He wanted to trigger the alt-right. I say again, press F to pay respects. I'll read a few more here and then hopefully we'll find that comic. From Miss Meadow Kitty, Davina just wants to bing bing a woo girls across the globe. He's so dedicated that he changed genders to tap into the lesbo market. He just wants to pin a girl against their mother's gravestone and grape them. From Jim Crow, give me your big fat potato nibba cock, Papa Jim, a woo. And finally, Unknown53, hey there, Jimbo. Been consuming your shit like mad ever since we was kings. And finally caught you live, so here are your shekels, potato sped. Where the fucking money, sh or where's the fucking money shit bag? All right. Let me go see if somebody was able to find, uh, so we can read the fantastic journey into the Shy Boy forums. Oh, somebody, somebody might have found it. Let's take a look. Oh, <laughs> please tell me this is it. Oh, somebody... Okay, well, there's some of it. Not all of it, but there is some, so... <laughs> okay. Okay, we can we can do this. We can do this. It's up on Facebook. We can do this. All right. Um, no, no. Back. Oh, God, come on. There we go. There we go. And there we go. I'm going to see if I can find a few more. There's only three pages I was able to access, but if we can find more, we'll put more up. Okay, or where is it? 
Oh, somebody does have the images. Okay, all right. I think we're good, guys. <laughs> I think we're good. All right, here we go. All right. This is... Uh, no, I've got that one. Uh, okay, do we have these? Oh, is there only a few pages? That's really disappointing. There should be more to this. All right, I'm piecing it together, Chad. I know it'll just take a moment, but we'll find we'll find this amazing, amazing fucking thing. Okay, well, let's take a look at what we got. How's that? We'll take a look at what we got so far. See if we can find some more in a little bit. Uh, and move that. There we go. We got our first image here. We saw this in the documentary. It's our three or two soy boys. War of Warcraft is pizzas dripping on the ground. No shame. No shame in what he's doing. Another guy with a wizard shirt. And somebody who's played Connect the Dot with their acne. Always a fun game to do when you've got giant boils on your face. Oh, here we here we go. <laughs> here we go with the designation of what uh what's up. On the very top, I know it cut off the text a little bit, but we've got an alpha. Alphas, of course, always wear a suit and carry a clipboard. That's how you know they're alpha. They write it down. <laughs> they have a list where they write down how many bitches they fuck. And they carry that list with them everywhere and just drop it on the table for anybody that questions their masculinity. Oh, you don't think I'm an alpha? Read the fucking list, buddy. It's on my clipboard that I carry with me. Uh, right next to him is a beta. Apparently betas eat <laughs> bag lunches and wear... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and wear um, hunting hats. It's how, it's, how, it's how you identify them. Anybody got a brown bag lunch? They are a beta. Uh, below that is a gamma. I guess gamma is slang term for wigger. Uh, a gamma would refer to somebody that uh, really likes rap music and has pony tattoos. It's a weird mix. You might not see that coming, but that's what our gamma does. Smokes blunts and loves My Little Pony. And then finally you've got the omega who's just so incredibly fat he can never stand up. You can see the little scent trails wafting off of him as the flies circle him, eating pizza, and just he carries around a broken controller, not even attached to anything. He just likes people to know that he is a gamer. Rise up. We live in a fucking society. If you hear that phrase, it's an omega. So to, uh, to summarize, alphas wear suit and keep a clipboard of the women they fuck, betas wear hunting hats and eat big lunches, gammas love Snoop Dogg, and Omegas want to rise the fuck up. Let's uh, let's take a look at the next. Oh, fantastic. Welcome to Dud to Stud Boot Camp. It's all so adorable, and you can't have it. It's initiation night. Now, you can see our Dud to Stud, who's got uh, just <laughs> an amazing physique. This is how men are built. I'm not sure his, his eye might be next to his earlobe, but it doesn't matter. Look at the muscles. All right, that is a bit strange if he's not looking at you sideways. He has to look at you like a bird. This man is a living owl in human form. Telling Fatty to get on in the fucking ground and work out. And here's all the nerd shit getting burned. Throw your fucking cards in the pyre, nerd. We've got Dragon Dung, War of Worldcraft. A couple game controllers, little figurine. Fat boy kissing the ground in front of the uh, stud. Speaking of studs, here's the stud. Slaying bitches. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going. She's another owl person. Maybe this is actually a sci-fi comic. Trying to tell us that bird-like humans are taking over the world and we're unaware of it. Oh, what have we got here? Uh, here's the girl from earlier. Ooh! Uh, hi. And I, this looks like a very Jewish <laughs> stereotype. Sorry, man, but you blew it. Reported. So apparently this comic is trying to tell us that the Jews are keeping men from interacting with women. It looks like the Jew is not letting this white couple be together. I, I think there might be some subtext to what this message is. There's a little more going on here than your typical, um, than your typical pickup artist shit, isn't there? And of course the cop who's got a pig nose, too busy eating his donut to notice what's taking place in the background. A little more woke than I was expecting, based in red-pilled. Oy vey, oy vey, chat, what's going on here? 
<laughs> I didn't realize the pickup artist community uh, was so deeply ingrained in anti-Semitism. Terrible, shameful. Oh, it's like another show. What? What are you doing? Can't you can't make a comic book like that? It's terrible. Holy vey. <laughs> uh, oh, let me. Uh, nope, that's not the. There we go. Star-crossed lovers. Let's keep that up on screen. I really do truly hope there's more to this comic book. <laughs> Those four pages. I he needs to make it. If Christian can be goaded into making a comic book for like eight years, this guy can too. All right, let's uh, let's continue on a little bit. Massive damage gaming. David Arbo hung out, and then David wanted a smooch. Did he have a knife, and was he planning on kissing her behind a church? Vulcan or Vulcan lives. Vulcan lives. Jason Weaver, like the other guy said, look at Jason Blaha. He's trained at the farm. He's killed people. He can't talk about it. Years long wreck. Love fit. No homo. From Moon Vlad. Hey boss, have you seen the show The Act on Hulu? The main character's boyfriend is like basically pretty much like basically Ross. I no, I don't think <laughs> I don't think I've seen that. From Debonair Modernair. Daddy Jim, don't know if you'll see this, but check out Dayton Hypernova on YouTube. A transgender with I, I don't I, I don't even know what that how to pronounce that condition. That constantly films his batshit dysfunctional family. This dude is a gold mine with over six hundred videos. And we'll definitely check that out later. From Richard Gruber, throw me a birthday shout out, Negro. Happy birthday, Richard. From God Howard, if you ever are bored, you should look at fitness YouTube. There is innumerable locals that need milking. I used to, um, I don't know how familiar people are with CrossFit, uh, but there's some funny fucking CrossFit videos out there. Uh, and I used to watch that shit of those idiots hurting themselves until YouTube stopped letting them put it up. Now you gotta go to like live leaks and shit to watch some fucking CrossFit trainer break his arm or fracture his neck or do other dumb shit <laughs> with their fucking workouts where they're like juggling barbells and shit on a trampoline and the other crazy. I love that philosophy. It's like, no, it's the speed. That's how you build up. That's how you build up your body. It's all about speed. Now pick up 500 pounds and do somersaults around the gym. Trust me, it's safe. From Gilgamesh. She rat should be on a watch list. Comwest 907, Jim, it's all your fault. Or it's all your fault. The world would be going on the right track if you won Gamergate. Enter the tourney. Get the hourglass and fix the timeline. From Kaya, or <laughs> Kolya Dante. David should take a page out of Randomer Cam's book and avoid women completely because he knows he'll spill his spaghetti. Yes, the Randomer Cam book of shoving your hand up a puppet's ass and getting drunk beyond the point of blacking out. A humble Fallout 76 merchant. Hey, Jim, been a big fan for almost two years now and figured I'd pay my hard stolen shekels as gratitude for all your spur hunting. Gazi Kodza vid it when? Uh, well, I, I, I've got a video coming out tomorrow uh, kind of talking about the MK11 thing, but a few other things. And then I'm, I'm going to start the IRL shit, uh, which is going to be like a big video project. So I mean, that's kind of what I've got going forward. From Massive Damage Gaming. CWC, Ross, and David, all are virgins with rage. All right, let me let me see if we got any more comic book pages. If not, I'm going to close it out reading Super Chats. Uh, I'll put up a little thing so people know. <laughs> it's fuck. Oh, is somebody... Is this based off something? Amazing. Uh, people, okay, people are saying you can view the forum. How? How did you do that? Oh, oh, oh all right, boys, we're in. Did they open it up? What the fuck happened? All right, let me let me see what's going on here. Wait, so they weren't they didn't lock it properly? <laughs> what? A uh, chat. We I, we're going on a journey. All right. I thought it was gonna just be super chats till we close out, but looks like they they didn't they didn't lock it properly, and so you're able to go on and actually read this shit. Uh, so here we go. Let me just, uh, let's start this out. We've got at least three pages of shit to read. So, uh, here we go. Here we go. Yes, we're in. We are in, chat. Oh, top secret operatives have found us a back door. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, this is in resources and recovery. Interesting. Let's see, where do we want to go? The incel guide to Latin America? I don't know. 
Worst age to be a love shy. Maybe, maybe that one? Let's take a look. Let's see what... Wait, this is all virgin territory. <laughs> well, it's a very meta joke, but we've never been here before, so we don't know what we're going to find. Hey, everyone. I'm 33 and have had a life with a lot of relocations due to my father's job, which is one of the main reasons for my love shyness. I've made good friends at the age of 22 and lost them at the age of 28, and restarted moving around again. Nonetheless, the issue is that most of my friends found a girlfriend while I remained single, and it does hurt. Just like going to marriages and being alone. My question is, especially to the less young love shies, what's the hardest age to be a love shy? My worst period was around 30, when I realized that <clears throat> people were moving on while I remained single. Mid-30s, lots of people saying late 20s, mid-30s. Oh, okay. I, I, I want to find... Can we find the one where the guy wanted the government to give him a girlfriend? Let's see. How does prostitution help? What? I don't know. Let's find out. Hey, everyone. I'm an incel and never had a relationship, but I have had sex. I'm wondering, how does going with prostitutes or having regular sex help and being more free in approaching women? Are the two linked or not? Does having sex have the same effect as practicing dating? Thanks for your views. I would imagine it would help love shyness, but not incels. Depends on what you mean help, though. With incels, it might not contribute towards removing the issue itself, but could provide symptomatic relief. Yeah, bro, you just need to butt a few, or, uh, bust a few nuts, okay? Symptomatic relief in a whore. Short answer, yes. Prostitution, when jacking off just won't do. I, I asked two psychologists... And they had different views. One of them said that if I had regular sex, I would remove anxiety about approaching women. The other said that sex is different than approaching women, and if I had good sex regularly, when I end up in a bar or club, I will still be blocked in the approach. Oh, God. I, uh, this is always the problem. you got to find, like, a good one. Have you guys been chasing random Stacys? Oh, oh. What, what date is this? From 2017. Gamers rise up. These fucking Stacys, I'm telling you. Okay, I think I found a problem with the guys. Too many of you are Chasey Stacers. A Chasey is a female equivalent of a Chad. A typical Stacy is totally normal in every way. Super confident because she has no ability, no difficulty being normal. A typical Stacy listens to whatever music is popular and keeps it up with the latest fashion trends instead of creating her own unique style. A typical Stacy, much like a typical Chad, is a normie sheep who only likes normal things. When people talk to one another, they usually talk about stuff they're interested in. This is true for people who are looking for sex, as well as for people looking for friendship. This brings me to love shyness. In my opinion, most love shy men are just talking to the wrong sort of women. When a man is too nervous to talk to a woman, it usually means that he doesn't know what to say. <laughs> Please... Okay, here we go. He's got a sliding scale. Perfect. Imagine a sliding scale of weirdness. Zero on the scale is normie stuff. Ten is for the weirdest of weird shit. Sports is a zero on this scale unless you're into something really weird like curling or lacrosse. You should have no difficulty finding a girl who likes sports. Tell her about your favorite team. Tell her about your favorite sporting memories. Ask her about your favorite team. I took a short break from typing this to check out the other sticky threads. Most of the music that you guys like is actually popular and normal. And then he just goes off into this. Oh, the gaming thread on this site reveals that most people here are into realistic games with a serious tone. I wanted to hear more about fucking Stacy's. If you want to adjust your entire persona... No, no, no. Okay, let's see if we can find the gaming stream. Dress for success. Please tell me there's a picture. Post contained links to advertising videos and has been removed. User has been banned for spamming. Well, apparently the men's warehouse was trying to get some business. I want feminine... Oh, how I got laid. Here we go. There is hope. Oh, this is the dude that was talking about Stacy's, isn't it? Catapult? Where was it? Oh, it's the same guy. Okay. This guy knows what he's talking about. David, listen up. Hello, everybody. I'm new here. A 23-year-old man with Asperger's Syndrome who has a girlfriend. I popped in because I think I can help you guys. 
My girlfriend is named Emily. She thinks that I am intellig er, <clears throat> intelligent, mature, creative, strong-willed, and empathetic. Let's analyze these words. When I was a kid, I read books about dinosaurs a whole lot. <laughs> I also went to university who had taken several courses on topics such as history, philosophy, geology, and psychology. Emily, okay, I'm going to skip through. Let's find out what uh, she finds attractive. Emily also says I'm mature. Even though I'm a 23-year-old Aspie who still loves Pokemon, can't drive, still lives with his parents, bites his nails, and is currently unemployed. <laughs> Come on. That sentence is a gold. Oh, she thinks I'm mature. Even though I'm a 23-year-old Aspie who loves Pokemon, can't drive, lives with mom and dad, Bites my nails and is unemployed. <laughs> she probably thinks I'm mature because I know how to keep my emotions under control. I suppose that I learned to control myself when I was a political person. People in the political area naturally learn to stay cool when debates get hot. My older stepbrother watches Adventure Time. <laughs> and he has had more sexual partners than I can count. All right, guys. Hot tip. All right, here's the ranking. All right. Adventure Time. Knee deep in pussy. Directly below that, Pokemon. One or two bitches. If you want more pussy, stop watching Pokemon. Start watching Adventure Time. One of my best friends is a married man who is older than me and still loves Pokemon. Emily loves My Little Pony. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you have to give up your favorite TV shows and games in order to grow up. People who think that adults can't watch kids' shows are liars. And people who think that an adult can't have an imagination are disgusting bullies. Oh, <laughs> here's another tip. Don't take it so fast. When I first met Emily, I treated her like a male friend. I suspected that she was attracted to me, but I kept her in the friend zone for a year and a half. That's right. Guys can friend zone girls. I did. About a year and a half ago, I started hugging her a bit more. On New Year's Eve of 2013-2014, Emily revealed that she wanted to have sex with me, but I still took it slow. I didn't kiss her on the lips until Valentine's Day, and we didn't have sex until June later that year. Around that time, she told me that she loved me. Success. Here's another thing you guys might want to know. Don't tell women that you have a Love Shy account. Well, that's the first piece of good advice Catapult gave. The site is widely regarded as a hate site. There are many things you should never reveal to a woman. Don't tell her if you're into hardcore pornography. Don't tell her if you're involved with men's rights or the manosphere. If you own a copy of The Alphabet of Manliness, like me, hide it. Another thing, have male friends. And then finally, even if you don't succeed at scoring a chick, then you still have male friends, and that still means something. To this day, I still miss Patrick, even when I'm with Emily. Peace out, homies. I, uh... I, I don't know. You know, let me ask chat. I'm going to let me put this off screen for a second. Chat, who gets more pussy, Pokemon or Adventure Time? Do you think he's telling the truth? Do you, do you think the Pokemaniacs can't compete with the uh, Adventure Time guys? Is that, uh, I don't know if that's on the level. And yes, I, I say, this is the same dude that was talking about Stacy's. Just friend zone that bitch for a year and a half and watch Adventure Time. That's how you get some pussy. How that how that works. A lot of people saying Pokemon pussy, Poke pussy. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much women love Adventure Time, but according to uh, Catapult, they they just get super wet over it. Chat seems to disagree. Doesn't uh, believe Catapult's telling the truth. Let's find out how other people re uh, reacted to this. Oh, very depressing, from JJ. I have no girl to friend zone. Oh, yeah, she's my first girlfriend. She says that she's attracted to my personality, not my looks. Oof. Oof. That's a hard one. That's a, it's a bit brutal. I'm going to be honest with you, Catapult. I'm not attracted to your looks. You're fucking hideous. But at least you like Pokemon. I don't know. I don't know how to take that. I don't know how to read that one. Update. I've noticed that there are some female love shies here, too. I might be able to help you out. Listen to this Casanova. He gets a little bit of pussy. Now he's, he's trying to hone in on the love shy women. Too bad it doesn't work out 99% of the time. 
This is obviously a troll. Why haven't you permanently banned him? <laughs> oh, let's, uh, up oh, next page. Let's take a look at next page. She isn't the sexiest girl out there, but she likes the same nerdy shit that I do. Update. We recently had to break up, but find it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. 31st of March, 2015. 21st of May, 2015. So that's like a month and a half. He made a thread to brag about getting a girlfriend. And a month and a half later, a month, oh no, I'm sorry, July 5th, 2015. So three months later. Update. We recently had to break up, but finding male friends is still my main goal in life. Everything I said about brotherhood is still true. Rip and Pep, can I get an F in chat for our love shy friend? Chat, can we get an F for Catapult 55? He had such a good good strategy. Friend zone the bitch for a year and a half, and then uh, watch My Little Pony and Pokemon. That's how you get the girls. <sighs> I guess she was a Stacy after all, man. Fucking bitches. Fucking bitches, what are you going to do, bro? Lots of Fs in chat. Real sad. Yep. <laughs> it's fucking tragic. Really sorry it didn't work out. Yeah, I bet they love the fact this dumb asshole got fucking uh, dumped. Coming to our forum, talking about hope at the end of the tunnel. Fuck you, buddy. Oh, uh, there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's... There we are. Back to... Back to this. Good news, bad news. Over-contacting a girl, don't do it. Oh, perfect. Let's read this. Take a look at what this guy says. Seriously, I made the mistake when I was younger and was unaware of what to do. Don't make the same mistake. Personally, not sure. I'd go crazy and become very angry if the guy I love refuses to contact me on purpose. I thought it was from personal experience, but no, apparently not. See, I don't think this is the full forum. I don't know. This is like one section of it that somehow got left up. Because we saw the post, and I'm not... Oh, no fat porn challenge. Women can be nice. Discuss. Sleep quality. Yeah, this is a, this is a lot of uh, how to be happy shit. I will fall in love one day. Delusion and real hope. Gluten and gains. Or, I'm sorry, gluten and grains. All right, let's see what else we've got here. Oh, OW's Guide to Prostitutes. Psychiatry help. Uh, two methods that work with dating. If you were serious about improving your... Yeah, this is only like a... It's like a quarantine portion of the forum. I don't know exactly... I know there's more. I'll just put it that way. And I know the good stuff is probably behind the membership wall. And the good stuff is what we want to look at, isn't it? <laughs> All right, see if somebody sends more links. But at least we heard the plight of Catapult 55. So that's something. Something to do. Uh, from Ear Juice... Ear Juice Live later on tonight. Worst songs on YouTube edition and General Spurgery. Also, you should play Sargon White Nagger's song as or for your outro. From Nick Sian, Endgame Spoilers. <laughs> Thanos admits he was wrong wiping out 50% when 13% is a much more proper number. Also, total runtime is 148 dot 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 8 minutes. Odd, huh? From Beck's Fire, we should give a thought to incels, but we shouldn't give incels a second thought. Mario Kart 13, Matt taught David how to knife a girl for a kiss. From the guy from that thing, blues rely on control and subversion to frustrate the enemy into submission. They never send their own to battle and mill all their mana to fund their subversion. Gas the blues, Orzov, gang gang. From Stabby McStabwood, over 9,000 rejections. It's, it's very sad, isn't it? Our boy got rejected a lot. From Murakami, sad thing is they changed their attitudes and cleaned up. Or if they changed their attitudes and cleaned up, they'd get a girl easily. From Neighboring Human, Ella Mayo's Matt's Ageo. Thank you for refreshing sense of humor and smoker's wheeze. I mean laugh. It helps me get through the hard times when I just want the world to burn. Love you. Full homo. From Wiggly Fungus, I wonder if these incels know what's going on in China. That men literally can't find women to date them. And it's a huge problem. There's a single day. From Jonathan Arden, under Bernie's campaign, prisoners can, or prisoners can in jail, healthcare, and coochie are all human rights. I see. Bernie's making uh, pussy a human right. Good to know. Road Warrior, holy shit, is that Lotsa? <laughs> it does kind of look like him, doesn't it? 
Feel good always 990. David, if your grandma is dying, I'm going to start crying shit rat. Really needs to talk to these Casanovas. He does. From Cyprus, I'm an eat. I don't get fit. I'm lazy. Why don't women want me? I feel like if they went to the gym, they'd at least have a chance. Also looks like a super chat from Gertie. Wanting another Minecraft uh, shrine, but no message attached. Either way, thank you. From a slightly amused black kid from the suburbs. When he named all the types of males, he forgot the Chad. Wiggly Fungus again. Does anyone want to tell them that alphas and wolf packs turn out to be false or are just parents? Captain RW19, what are your thoughts on Dick Masterson? I think Dick's funny. Been on stream with him a couple times, went on his, and then have uh, been a guest on other streams that Dick has been on. Mexaman and Cheese, if you have $200, you're not an incel. You just know the value of a dollar. That being said, these guys are probably broke as fuck. Uh, but, <laughs> well, a lot of them said they were unemployed. I will say that was a common theme. Uh, from non-edgy username, Yo Jim, slip that shit out of the water for me. From Cantorus, depends on the girl, personality matters as you get older. From Zach Atched, cuties shake their little booty when they see me in my Kuji suit. All right. Let me just check, see if we got some more. More forum posts, more comic. And if not, I'm just going to re read the remainder of the Super Chats and we'll, we'll call it an evening. I think we had a nice little journey into David's mind and the mind of people like David. It's always good to do. Okay. Let me adjust this for anybody that's coming in. Uh, so they know. The main portion of the stream is over. If you want to cut out early, I uh, totally understand. Just want to make sure I read through these because people donated. Thank you for coming to the stream. Uh, we learned a lot today, I think. Learned about David's little adventure. <sighs> learned about the Love Shy community. I hope I get that forum account. If I do, there will be a follow-up stream. If I find more of that comic... There most definitely will be a follow-up stream. But now I think I will read the remainder. I hope uh, you all have a good weekend. Have a good Saturday. Enjoy your Sunday. I'll have a video up tomorrow. Uh, probably in the evening. And, uh, yeah, let's let's read through these and finish out the stream. Oh, oh no, that's a wrong, wrong tab. Where am I here? I'm getting lost. Okay, let's, let's read through these. From Miss Meadow Kitty, I just donated to Mr. Berniker. Watch me, or match me, bros. From Sean Turner, Catapult is just like Danny. Vagina is gross and all he wants is super friends. He moved too slow and she was a Stacy. Can I get a Danny rise up in the chat? From Tag218, you missed a gang stalking thread there, Jimbo. <laughs> I'm sure I did. From Mike Ruffcock, watching Adventure Time and getting that polka pussy. Thanks for the stream, Jim. Here's some shekels for the good content. A plastic chair, relevant video. I've yeah, got a link there. I will take a look at that afterwards. I, I have a feeling we're going to be doing a, a follow-up on Love Shy Incel Shit. Um, and I will I will get into that forum, or I will find an equivalent forum, and we will watch this shit. Uh, Angela Ziegler, hashtag not all Stacys. Thought not, let the darkness grow. From Claire Bear. Advanced got plastic surgery. Check the site I sent Antibully on Twitter and look for just Jack. He actually got the fucking surgery? All right, let's take a look at how he turned out. Uh, let me see if I can find this here. Uh, one second, chat. Let's let's take a look at our boy, who might now be a very beautiful woman, and find out, and find out how the surgery worked. Oh, let's see, let's see. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I'm not sure where it is. There's there's a lot of links to the comic. All right, I I will I will dig for it in a little bit. Let's try that. Uh, from Alan Fritz Gerald. It's a wonderful all the bas or it's wonderful all the basketball American slur works works arounds have not gotten your channel struck down, and lost your ability to get super berries. Azured Wing, Fatty Caddy is an incel Jew. From Cassie Kashi, declare exterminatus on all incels. From Dirk Lyman, what is, the, the, what is that person on the right side of the screen? What is going on? Trump 2020. I, I think you mean this. Uh, where is it? Are you talking about Davina? 
Well, that's a beautiful trans woman. Uh, that would be Davina on the right and Mr. Corey King himself on the left. All right, don't judge. All right, love is love. All right, let it go. From Miss Meadow Kitty, the pickup artist community remind, or remembers the six million that died on the Death Star of David. Oy vey, when Alderaan was destroyed by the Empire Steins <laughs> because they charged them interest. The rebels are just a pack of goys who don't know all 14 words. JH, found my way onto part of Love Shy. Check Twitter. From Rut, kid in my old high school got arrested for posting Gamers Rise Up meme. Look up CCS Go blog and go to the most recent post. I have the pick of the meme too. He got fucking ba He got uh, arrested for posting Gamers Rise Up. Amazing. From Trues, Money and Matt was pushed up against the boulder while he held a knife to his own throat while Sherritt forced himself on a mat while screaming, I want your babies. From Alan Don Under, like basically, um, basically, yeah, um, uh, basically. Sergeant Scotty, what's your favorite Space Marine chapter? Already answered that actually on stream with, with Nick. If you go check it out, we did a whole stream about 40K from Vertst. There's a link in the chat that allows you to view forums uh, posts from his website. Uh, yeah, I, I believe that's what we just looked at. Miss Meadow Kitty, Matt Boulder X Boulder Hunter, Garbo's Gunt Smells Like Cheese, Davina's False Cunt Smells Like Tuna. Together, they make the perfect tuna melt of faggotry. From Video Game Snake, you hear Worski insulting you and then saying how badly he wants you on his channel. See his streaming going into his bisexual lifestyle? Uh, no, I missed that. <laughs> I'll have to take a look. Uh, I will take a look. Uh, Mako Horror Show. Jim, please tell your friend Mr. Antipoli to respond to me on Twitter. You Negro. From Isaiah. Hey, tell my brother Logan that he's a dingus and he needs to frick off. Travis R. Been loving you since White Wig Day. Never change. Throw away 190. Have you heard of Dan Seeley? His public accosting videos were gold, but he got, or he deleted a lot of them. When he became a registered sex offender? I've never heard of him. I'll be honest with you. Uh, Ethan the Hobo, are you familiar with Kiwami Japan, the guy who makes knives out of anything? Uh, yeah, I actually, I think I know who you're talking about. Um, he made, God, he's made knife. yeah, I, I know the channel you're talking about. Didn't he, like, melt down, a, like, a plastic bottle and make a knife out of that and made it super fucking crazy sharp with all the stones? If that's the one I'm thinking of. Editorial Joe, Jim, tell all these four tards. Uh, there's no uh, letha. It's just uh, the light shines or the darkness grows. Morons. Uh, Chris, damn it, Jim, look at the chat. We are in the forum. Uh, where are we here? Jeppy, look into Marjan Skillik. He wrote, the government should get me a girlfriend comment. He has a Kiwi Farms threat. <laughs> I, can, I can imagine he would. From Normie. In the first grade, on a date with my crush, I asked my mom if suicide was a crime and if she would go to jail if I did it. Crush never spoke to me again. Well, uh, yeah, I could imagine. <laughs> I could imagine that being an awkward conversation. From Travis, just whip the whale into shape. you got to invest in the fat ones. Sculpt your waifu out of the blubber. From Swords Mage, it's my birthday today. Have some of my birthday money. Unfortunately, I'll have to catch the archive of this. Well, happy birthday, Swords Mage. Username, Jim and Jade. From Victor Massacre, or Massacre, is Kyle safe? Did Trash Boy kill and rape him? Uh, we'll never know. I will do a follow-up. We'll find out if Kyle is safe. From Umpty Madu, hey Jim, sent your friend a perfect match for his incel, or uh, for this incel on Twitter. I think you can save this man's career. From Grayson, the long hair incel looks like Rosie O'Donnell. From Damon Darwin, why must you always stream while I'm at work? Re, Blue Satoshi, Paul Revere kind of look like Paul Latza. Norman Normadi, uh, laugh my ass off, I'm a six on a good day, but my ugly friend has the most girlfriends in our group. Jesus Christ, this is pathetic. From Zephanoris, these dudes are so creepy about hot women, or about women, holy shit. Kim Jong-un, Matt Jarbo, TJ Kirk, and Digibro are all married. These dudes have no excuse. From Dances with Metroids, all memes aside, what's your take on the Red Pill community? Defeatist and misogynistic. Or do they have a grain of truth to their ideals? Now, when you say that, are you talking about, like, there's a... When you say Red Pill community, are you talking about, like, the dating community on Reddit? Because I've never really looked into that. But I know there's, like, a weird offshoot that deals with women that I think calls himself the Red Pill community over there. I, I don't really have an opinion because I don't know. Uh, Trace XL, he looks like surgery-addicted Kylo Ren. 
down forward punch. Jim, did you see Ghost go in on Baked Alaska yesterday? Classic Ghost, and it shows that Ghost is up to date with the IBS trash fire. Check it out. Um, yeah, I heard that he went into him. Uh, Baked Alaska got cucked, and I'm sure Ghost had a good time laughing about it, as most people would. From moderator Marcy, just letting you know the IBS apocalypse has come full circle, and he has dyed his hair and had a yet another mental breakdown on cognitive talks. Now convinced his channel is being dis dislike botted? I, I, that I don't know about. I feel like I've fallen behind on Andy's stuff. I'll have, I'll have to take a look. From Harold M. Uh, quality reads for men with needs. Game Roosh V, The Way of Men, A More Competent or Complete Beast. Jack Donovan, The Way of the Superior Man. And David Data. Not, I'm not sure if I pronounced uh, David's last name right. From Green Patches, Justin Trudeau for a Clown World. Spew. That Jim May music bit is way better than the weeb shit you used to use. Thanks for making me issue my first Superberry. Again, you should be thanking Odeker. He's the one that came up with it. From John Stone. Hey, Jim, any developments on Ethan and Andy being gay? Uh, not that I've heard. Maybe Coach will drop more info. From Gustav Viking. You can use Mr. Medicare as a reference on your job application if you donate. Uh, that's very true. If you want the best job you can get, send me Superberries and then put my name down as a reference. Uh, Pinkie Pie just had to break up, uh, or just had a breakup, so here's some dosh. Love you, Jew. From Majin, website exists. You have to register to view posts. Yeah, we found out uh, the hard way. Wiggly Fungus. Okay, I need to ask this uh, to any other women watching the stream. Have any of you had a guy try any of this PSA bullshit on you? Got pegged once. Thought he was just a crazy guy that was nicely dressed at first. <laughs> was he an alpha? Did he have a nice suit on? Was he carrying a clipboard with women's names on it? That's how you know he's from that community. Uh, from Jinma. Hey, Jim, please check out a video called Unicorn with a Y highlight reel, Ash. It's a video of a nice guy meeting his favorite female Korean streamer. Well, you know what? Let's let's take a look. You know, I, I'm game for it. Let's see if it's any good. Uh, one second, chat. We might have found a <laughs> an example in real life of this shit. I don't know. We'll find out. Unicorn, okay. Highlight reel, Ash. All right, let me see what we got here. Oh, this is a long video. Is it just the dude being creepy? I don't know. Oh, God, he's, he's trying to cuddle with her. Okay, we can take a look at some of this. Uh, apparently, a, a fan met a... I don't know what this is, a YouTuber or an actress or some shit like this, so we'll watch a little and see how it goes. <laughs> did you see her fucking eyes go wide when he did that? <laughs> That's a real smooth move, buddy. Just watch your face. I don't really care. She's trying to give them signals. You see, she keeps looking at him and looking at them, looking at him, looking at them. Okay. Uh, it's smaller than your foot. Smaller than my, my foot? Yeah, because I cannot give any... You never had six hundred and ten viewers before, I think. Yeah. All because of me. Well, thanks to me. Don't touch, yeah, hey guys, don't touch girl's face. Oh, this guy. You can't tell me what to do, chat. Oh, like don't, today. I don't know if you Why actually don't... spend that much time. Look at her chat telling her to abort. It doesn't look like you spent that much time on it. What does that mean? I don't know. No, it just drink, no, 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 drink your coffee and no, but wait. Oh, to my defense, um, you said, oh, ca can I explain? Do you want to just keep talking? <laughs> what was I saying? I'm getting tired again. Is it okay? Is it how you say it in Japanese? It is not Japanese, it is Korean. 
yeah, this dude's like all touchy feely and shit. Like he just meets some random woman, starts leaning and pinching her face and shit, <laughs> talking shit to her. I mean, I'm not. I can you like just look at me when I'm talking? I feel like you don't even oh, care. Oh my god, I mean, I'm not because you're streaming. Oh, never yeah, mind. For like a couple of minutes, I'm trying to. Ask okay, okay, you okay, 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 okay. Because I was two hours late, and I know it's completely my fault. But can you like please stay one hour after 9 p.m.? I uh, her look just says it all. So I guess I, I don't know how this works. Is she? Is she, is she is meeting a fan for an allotted amount of time? I know I was two hours late, but give me more time so I can pinch you. I'm gonna entertain. Entertain. Fuck, I can't speak. I'm gonna entertain chats in the meantime. Oh. Don't worry, I'm not gonna drop it. Um, uh, may I? What the fuck is this dude's issue? You know, oh, uh, like. Second time meet, right? What? It is second time. Twice, yeah, right? Yeah. Second yeah, second time, but you you drink so do. It is first time. I never meet like you. If you don't wanna drink it, no. it's not a problem. I yeah, have a I lot mean, of uses for it. Yeah, just just, just drink. Why won't you love me? Stay an extra two hours so I can pinch you. I'm going to sniff your camera because it smells a little bit like you. Uh, do you want to take your shoes off? Let me sniff down there too. Oh, just an extra hour, Yumi-kun. Oh, I want to be Oni-chan, Umi. Oh, Sugoi! Remember, they love that. Sugoi! See, I speak your language. Okay, if you, what? If you sniff like this. I really thank you. No. Send help. The ice cream. Ice cream. Okay. Yeah. Keep go, go on. Yeah. And then some. The burgers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. I really appreciate it. Yes. And then even I'm not drinker, but anyway. Thank you for the stuff. Yeah. That, that was so nice. Why didn't you say that when we just met? Why did you have to go with? Oh my god, but I don't like burgers. I don't like minty ice cream. And I don't like soju. I just need one. I just... Can't you like lie to me for a bit and be yeah, like, I Oh like my god, I like... love this. You're so nice to me. And... I think this dude has like a, sn uh, like a scent fetish. This is what you'd call a brat bro. Okay, here's where I'm coming from. He smells the camera. And I'm pretty sure he's sniffing his fingers right now as he's talking to her. Like, he keeps subtly touching her, and then he sniffs his fingers. And I think she knows this is happening. And she doesn't know how to bring it up because it's so fucking awkward. How do you how do you tell somebody about that? Instead of being like, oh my god. Hey, 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 hey. I'm just a normal person. Like, same as you. Yeah. But why I have to act like, like that? So that I don't start crying all of a you just, you, you just make... Me. A jerk? <clears throat> I'm so, so I'm trying my best to. Un Wait. Yeah, me too. Me too. Look, look, look I'm seriously, I'm me too. So don't just scream at the restaurant. I'm sorry because um, I may have said something bad to you. I, I, I need to know more about this. Highlights from the VOD. Okay. So this is a streamer that met one of her fans. <laughs> How much do you think she's regretting meeting a fan right now? Did you mean clown and joke? I'm trying to apologize you. At least say it's okay. I accept your apology. Alright, let's um how long are you still gonna be free after stream? Um here? Twitch rebroadcast is gonna stay there forever. <laughs> and, every, and everyone is gonna so much. Um, why? Why what? It's my stream. But they love me more. So you wanna stream? <laughs> that's just highly uncomfortable. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know. I don't know who that is. I guess that's a Twitch chick. I'm not, I'm not familiar with them. I'll be honest with you. 
Oh, let's see. Somebody, Sean Turner. I know that dude in the video. He was a pussy and penis destroy. He fricked anything with a pulse. How did he go so low? He was in my theater class. You know this dude? You know the guy that was on the stream? Oof. From Road Warrior 2, of course the mud man. Jew Muslim doesn't matter. Can't keep his hands off a pretty foreign girl, and troglodytes think that East Asians must take these shits in. Chat's not liking not liking our intrepid our intrepid guy. I don't know how to describe him. Uh, Mako Horror Show. Jim, please tell my sister Julie she's a goblin. Julie, you are a goblin. From according to James. Jim, have you seen Beta O'Rourke's furry band? Yes, I have. Gassy Kayashi. Spank me, or spank my motorboat, my, spank me, motorboat my milkers, Daddy Jim. Pongo D, when's an Asian, when an Asian's girls, okay, God, Jesus. When an Asian's eyes go wide, you've made a mistake. From Blue Satoshi, advanced looks feminine because he had plastic surgery to look Bishonen. He thinks he's ugly if he doesn't try and look like he's straight out of Sailor Moon. From Theory Cow, hey, Jim, what do you think of Sargon running for MEP? I think... I think we're going to get a lot of good comedy out of this. From Dan, drop by the kill stream, or kill stream, Daddy Jim. Ask Ralph about his homosexual relationship with Andy. I'm losing my ability to talk. I'm going to read, uh, let's do 10 more of these. <clears throat> Close out the stream. Okay, Clear Bear saying again, I sent the link of advanced surgery into a reply to the stream live tweet. Okay. Uh, Padre speaks, Riketa says Worski should be Alphurus. What say you? I say Angron, but stutters. I, I, again, my brain is a little fuzzy from watching this, this amount of fucking, I don't even know how to describe it, from MGTOW. Sam Kirby, had to wait for my mom to get drunk and pass out so I could go into her purse and get her card. Can't donate too much or she'll notice and reverse it. Smart man. From Stratagem Medley, look up three UKIP MEPs quit. Sargon is responsible, poisoning all he touches. From Foxman2248, what happened to the video you were going to put up? I have a video going up tomorrow. It got delayed a little bit. From Colin Gall, go back on PKA. Uh, yeah, I had fun on their uh, podcast. I'd go back on. From Ron Perlman, shout out to Adam Lanzi. And on, Jim, there's a gang stalking thread, saw it. Dr. Syndrome, why not look at incel.me, official incel website? Sounds like another, uh, sounds like something I'll compile together for the next stream. From Miss Meadow Kitty, I just donated. Okay, all right. I think I'm caught up. Let me read any I missed. Uh, say no to Gino. You missed my chat, you Nigerian. Chazzy Wolf, my friend is uh, my friend. In response to me asking what he'll do if you don't read his Superberry and you skipped him, I'm going to go shoot up a synagogue and name Jim as the person who radicalized me the most. Joey Jojo, holy smokes! I remember posting on that Love Shy site. It's not healthy to stew in anger over being single. Learn to love yourself and make yourself up. Okay, and I believe we are caught up. If I if I missed your super chat, I am sorry. I tried to read them all. Occasionally, I do miss some. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming out. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I will have a video up <clears throat> uh, tomorrow evening, uh, probably around 6 or 7 my time, so uh, let's say 8 p.m. Eastern. I will do a follow-up stream where we get more more exciting forum posts. I'll, I'll try to dig through and see if I can get through their firewall of protection and find out what it's like on the inside of the Love Shy forums. I also try to track down more of those comics. Now, what am I going to play as an outro? Well, you know what? Because Odeker sent it like three fucking times, and I repeatedly missed it every single time he sent it. I think we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna end it on his uh, remix of "You Got That." Uh, have a wonderful evening, and uh, remember video out tomorrow if you're interested. And I will see you all later.